Hello, hello, hello to all the beautiful people that are will be listening to us today. I am Dr. B with Power Talk Livestream, and I am also uh, the founder of Be Global. So I am delighted and I'm so happy to be here today. We are celebrating International Women uh, Women's Month in the Mar in the month of March. And uh, I will be the one of your hosts, and we will have another host jumping in in a few minutes. But today you're going to meet phenomenal women that have been stepping into their power and impacting and really making a difference in people's lives in so many ways. These women are from all over the world, and we are so excited that they said yes to be here. So in addition, uh, uh, they're going to be sharing their message, having some conversations here with me. And at the same time, we're going to give them and recognize them with a certificate for being a phenomenal woman. So I just want to put it out there. So for those of you that are here, stay tuned, stay connected. If you're watching the replay, like, comment, ask any questions, because these women will come back and they will stay connected with you. So thank you. Thank you again to all the amazing people for being here. Um, let's see. We are going to get started with our first uh, amazing person. Her name is Real Kunene. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing it correctly, right? Yes, you're on mute, Real. <laughs> There you go. Welcome. Welcome to uh, Power Talk uh, live stream and celebrating international women here. I'm so happy that you said yes. And I want you to tell us a little bit about yourself. Who are you and why are you celebrating like International Women's Day this month? Oh, wow. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dr. B. And I know you have a co-host. I believe Rain will be joining Sean. But I just I, I, I just want to thank you for putting such an event, an event where you just recognize gender equality today for a sustainable tomorrow. I just applaud you. I applaud both of you, really, for recognizing the contribution of women and girls around the world to build a more sustainable future for all really so good people my name is riel gonene i am an energetic professional speaker i am also the author of many many books but the one that speaks to my heart is rise to greater heights which is a comprehensive guide to turn your fears into greater success while seizing new opportunities i am also a phd candidate i am a mentor i am a coach well known for encouraging many to rise from mediocrity into greatness because I believe that we're in full control of our own choices. So my title, Rise to Greater Heights, has inspired and empowered many to pursue their professional as well as their personal passion to become go-getters. So as I wear many hats, uh, as a human a human rights analyst, uh, diplomacy and protocol officer, really celebrating you, uh, Women's Month, to me, it means the world because it's part of my human right, right? So I am here. I am here to share some nuggets on human rights women's rights is also human rights. So thank you, Dr. Pierre. Well, I'm really glad that you are here. And you know, like you mentioned, it is about this, there's a theme in International Women's Month and the theme is uh, gender equality. Mm -hmm. So why is gender equality so important during this time? Like, what would you tell our people? Really, when it comes to gender equality, you know, like I've mentioned that women rights is also human rights. And uh, if I may ask you, what are human rights? What comes into your mind when you think of human rights? Because that's where you find the gender equality in human rights. So I just want to see most of your comments on the chat box. So what do you think when you think of human rights or women's rights uh, per se? Because we are celebrate, we're celebrating these women across the world. It's women international month i'll call it that way instead of like women's international day so what comes into your mind when you think of human rights 
anyways, I'm going to come and check on your comments. But when it, when it comes to human rights, really, human rights are just the fundamental rights and freedoms inherent to all human beings, regardless of your gender, nationality, place of residence, sex, ethnicity, as well as religion, or even your skin color. And human rights that you should know is not all about the law. So it means that human rights are non-discriminatory, meaning that all human beings are entitled to them. And you really don't have to see the whole staircase in life, but you have to take the first step to get to the top. As my mentor always say that you don't have to be great to get started, but you have to get started to become great. Get started today. Get, uh, get more knowledge on human rights, women rights, so that you, you will know when your human rights or your women rights are being violated. Because my everyday book, it says that you have to learn to do good seek justice, correct oppression, bring justice to the fatherless, and plead the widow's cause. So we are here. We are here to share more knowledge and human rights on gender equality because it's part of human rights. And, you know, I really want to celebrate you, Rio, because you have, like, an amazing platform, and I was on your platform, in fact, so thank you for inviting me. But you put us on bulletin boards, you know, and it's like, it's it's the it's a good way to honor and uh, promote women. So mm -hmm. why do you think it's important that we impact, we influence, and we share our message with women during this time of, of our life, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, honestly, honestly. Uh, can I go ahead? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, so Dr. B, really, like to me, the reason why we, we should be celebrating women. You know, like if you're in a home, I know usually the fathers are the head of the family, but who is running all these errands behind closed doors? Who is not being celebrated, like cooking, you know, serving, taking care? We, we, we are doctors, we are doctors in our own families. We are the nurses, we are the, you know, the lawyers. We, we, we are everything, we are everything. I know the world is not going to agree with me, but I, I believe that if we were not here, there shouldn't be a boy, a girl, but because of a mother, because of that woman who carried that child for nine months, we are here. I believe that we all have dreams and goals that we want to achieve. I believe that each and every woman, that we have a we have a kind of mindset for for own our for our own families really like if i may ask you i just want to see in the chat box that that how many of you have dreams and goals that you want to achieve maybe in the next six months maybe it, before the year ends i just want to see it like show me a, a high five show me i show me whatsoever you want to show me because you need to be clear about your career goals in order for you to gain guidance on professional development really my goal as a mentor my goal as a coach my goal like as a counselor my goal is just to study your current situation identify limiting beliefs and other potential obstacles that you might be facing and then design a plan of inspired action to empower you to achieve specific outcomes in your life. As Barack Obama once said, the future rewards those who press on. I don't have time to feel sorry for myself. I don't have time to complain. I'm going to press on. Good people, you really don't have to be politically involved to know about your human rights. All human beings are entitled to them and you can never ever be excluded from your own human rights because these are God-given fundamental rights and, fr and freedoms. As flight attendants always say that put on your oxygen mask first before you assist others because if you don't you and the other person you're trying to help could possible go down so it's your time to get to know more about your human rights it's a wake-up call people it's a wake-up call but when the alarm clock goes off please 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 don't ever hit the snooze button but you know what just wake up get going and make a difference in this world because i believe that us as women we are the change makers. We are the trailblazers. We are the innovators. We are here to bring change. The change that we want to see in this world must first begin with us. So that's the reason why we need to celebrate these women. These are trailblazers. So thank you, Dr. P. You know, you, you said something that we as women, you know, we're change makers and shift makers and 
and we're innovators. Mm-hmm. But there's a lot of women out there that want to step into their greatness and they want to really deliver their message, but they're having a hard time. You know, they're having a difficult time stepping into it. Like, what would you say to that person who wants to step into their greatness and really begin to impact and make a difference? You know, I believe that we are all destined for greatness inside of each one of us. God has put seeds of excellence. Those seeds are supposed to grow and flourish. But, you know, many people have become have become crippled by their past encounters. And some have stepped over other people to get to the top. But I believe that God has a better plan for every one of us. And your objective is what you're designed for and the reason why you live today. So I believe that you are destined for greatness. You have to take that action. You know, sometimes, sometimes you can you can see the way. You can you feel like you're just lost. You feel like you're just comfortable in your own comfort zone. But you have to break out from that comfort zone and take one step at a time. Take baby steps in the direction of your dreams. As long as these baby steps are in the right direction, it's gonna lead you where you want to be. I uh, like human rights. To me, it speaks. It speaks volume because you'll have to remember that a right is a freedom of some kind. It doesn't matter where we were born or what kind of family we were born into. We all have the internal recognition of the moral quality of one's motives and action. So it was a Nelson Mandela who once said to deny people their human rights is to challenge their very, very humanity. So I so wish that you can just tell yourself that, you know what, I'll have to make a difference within me. The change I want to see in this world must first begin with me. Let me invest on myself because you cannot give out to the whole world if your cup is not full. They always say that you'll have to give up, give out from your overflow. So fill your cup first, woman and uh, step into your greatness you've got to be hungry in order for you to do this you've got to be hungry like the hungry lion in the jungle you know that hungry lion in the jungle it doesn't matter what kind of animal comes his way it doesn't matter if you're the giant elephant or that small squirrel by the jungle all that hungry lion sees in front of his face is lunch it's it and it's so funny because even with elephants when they see a lion what they do is that they run it's all about the mindset once you believe that you've been destined for greatness, you will become. So have the lion mindset, have the hunger within you that, I, you know what, I am destined for greatness. So my resilience is going to lead me to greatness. Be resilient in your life, woman. Wow. You have power in your words. Like I could go on all day listening to you. I really feel that you have so much to give and so much to really empower people. But today, I really want to congratulate you for the great work that you've been doing with women all over the world and um, making and impacting people. So I really want to recognize you with um, a certificate. It's not an award, but it's a certificate that I think you deserve. And I'm going to go ahead and share it here. Give me a second. Um, and basically the certificate is, uh, for being a phenomenal woman recognition that certifies you, uh, because with deep appreciation for visionary guidance and exemplary leadership skills, I feel that you should be awarded with this certificate today. So thank you. Thank you for all you do. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So I'm really humbled. I'm so, so humbled, Dr. B. I like, I know there are many, many women out there who deserve this award, who like, uh, you, who, who are innovators in their communities. So I am, I'm so honored. I am so humbled. So thank you. Well, thank you for being here. And how can people or women or men out there connect with you? Yes, uh, they can reach out to me really, really uh, uh, it's www.risetogreaterheights.com. And I also have a free transformation guide for anyone who is uh, today listening and watching under my voice. I have a free transformation guide. It's also available on, on my website, www.risetogreaterheights.com. And with this trans- free transformation guide, really, you're going to be able to explore leadership 
empowerment, being purpose-driven, mentorship, coaching, resilience to greatness, emotional intelligence, mental health, you know, as many, as many, as many topics as, as you can think, including spiritual growth as well as uh, successful parenting. And um, so go out there and reach out to me, www.risetogreaterheights.com, or you can email me at admin at rise to greater heights.com because you know what i believe that the sky is no longer the limit but the sky is our point of view so we are all here supposed to rise to greater heights together so thank you dr queen thank you so much and um for all the people that are watching do you have a free gift that you would like to give them maybe a free consultation or something Yes, I, it's a free transformation, free transformation gift uh, that's available on my website. Okay. And I also have uh, like a 15 minutes consultation on coaching, on mentorship. So please reach out to me, admin at rise to greater heights dot com. Mm -hmm. OK, if you could type in the in private chat, I'll copy and paste it so that people can see the link. So okay. again, thank you so much for being here. And uh, you can stay in backstage and watch us and comment and share. So thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. B. Well, with you, with us today, we have phenomenal women around the world. And you have to stay tuned because they're going to be giving, we're going to be giving free gifts for you so that you can take action, you can feel supported in any area of your life. So stay tuned. Make sure that you, if you have any questions, you ask the questions that you have below and reach out. And for those of you that are interested, the first gift that I'm going to give out, let me go ahead and copy Reel's um, link here. And that's a gift that you can go and get. So I'm going to go ahead and you're going to see it below so that it's easy for you to capture that link. So it's rise to greater heights.com. Go get the gift, go get connected because she is an amazing, phenomenal leader. Thank you. And our next guest is another amazing person that you really want to connect with. But her name is Merit, Merit uh, Stanglan. I hope I'm not mispronouncing it. I'm so sorry. She said that I can call her M. She's like, you can just say M. And I really like that. <laughs> and I met her. I met her in Paris just recently. We were in Paris uh, celebrating International Women, and it was such an amazing event. We made a big, intense connection, and I really want to thank you for saying yes in short notice. Thank you so much for saying yes. Oh, thank you very much for having me here, Mr. Mrs. B, Dr. B. I am just so honored. Um, you can call me M. You can call me whatever, but my name is Merietta, and that is difficult. But thank you very much. <laughs> well, thank you. You know, today's topic is a, it's a huge topic because it's once a month. We should be celebrating ourselves every month because we're always impacting and making a difference in, in women's and in, in women's and people's lives around the world. But tell us, like, what what is it specifically that you focus on and what are you celebrating this month that you feel that people need to know something special about you. So I'm going to go ahead and give you the floor so you can talk a little bit about yourself and then I'll be in and out. Thank you very much. Well, mm -hmm. where should I begin? Well, uh, I have so many things that I really love to do. But of course, with the National Women's Day well in mind, which was amazing, where I shared the stage with so many powerful women with such a huge drive within them to make the world a better place, not only for women, but for a whole, uh, the whole world. And uh, I think that what I celebrate now is that for myself, I've started my, my business, finally gotten myself into step into my power. I have been working as a 
a mentor and a coach for many years, but never done it on my own. Uh, it's been amazing. It's been, you know, a journey. And I want to explain and tell other women that it is possible and to give you really give you the understanding that you have this immense power within you. And I think also in this specific time, I think we are we are facing greater challenges than ever. And you know what will the future look like? You know how will climate change affect us, and how will the pandemic reinvent our lives and everything? And and I believe that to create a significant change in society, we must change, and we must find new ways of thinking and innovate. And for that, we really, really need women. Even in Norway, where we have reached a far gender equality than many other places in the world, where we are getting close to the same pay as women, as men, I think we're about 80%, I think 85 actually. But still, you know, the world are somewhere in between 60 or 70 and the less fortunate down to 40%. But even in Norway, when we are equal, you know, the thing is, there are not enough women in the executive positions. There are not enough women leaders. And if we are going to solve this future that we are standing in front of this, this moment, where we can expect more and greater polarity, we really need women to step into their power. Not taking away the man's power or, or anything, but what we need to do is to get women to stand shoulder by shoulder, not only in family matters, but in professional matters. Because women are the, the image of compassion, nurturing, and taking care of things. And I believe that if we don't step into our power, uh, we will not reach world peace. I think this is the ultimate thing that we need to do. We need to bring male and female energies and people into the power to create balance. And uh, I think that at this time in particular, and I was using uh, the time in Paris when I spoke to women to tell them and to remind them that you have within you the possibility to make a huge change in your own life, in someone else's life. And if we all do that together, we will change the world. And um, I guess, you know, there are so many aspects that we can talk about. I can't hear you, Mr. Dr. B. Okay. I think you said something wonderful that that we have to be able to really uh, be able to connect and, and, and women uh, need to be empowered, right? Mm -hmm. uh, because that is about gender equality. Like we mm -hmm. need to step into some of the positions of being executives and, and the higher levels of leadership, mm -hmm. which... I mean, if you look at what's happening right now with the, the presidency or vice president in the United States, I mean, we have the first female uh, African-American and she has a little bit of different um, race right within her, which is powerful to see that a woman is standing up into that level of leadership, which we haven't had. Right. We, and they can do it, you know, they can do it so well. And and I even think that some in some areas we can do it better. You know, I can see that at the moment here in Norway, we actually have something that is amazing. At this moment in time, there are so many grown women who are stepping into starting and becoming entrepreneurs. And we are actually creating new workspaces. And we are good at taking care of the people, our empl employees. And uh, it is really outstanding. And I also see on the world basis and in Norway, there are more females doing higher educations. But what we need them, I know that if 
if we are not empowering them, if we, the grown ladies, if we are not helping them, giving them the tools they need, they might walk around with a lot of knowledge and not being able to use it. And we will need to, to push them out there and encourage them to make them understand that they have, th the sky is as my colleague just said, the sky is not the limit. The limit is within yourself. And I think that's so important. I love that was powerful. Can you say it again that the sky is not your limit? No, because the sky is not the limit. The, the limits, it, it's within you. You are putting the limits on yourself. Okay. And that's, uh, and basically what that means, what I think about then is that we have certain behaviors imprinted upon us, behaviors and, and ways of being programmed into our mind as we grow up by mm -hmm. culture, family, schools, everything, you know. And we keep on carrying things that really don't belong to us, you know, belief systems. And um, when we want to do something, this little voice is telling us, you're not too good, you know, you're not good enough. You can't do it. You know, you have to learn how to silence this enormous highway of information coming in from the outside mm -hmm. and then start to go within and find your power. And once you do that, there are no limits. Mm -hmm. There are no limits. Absolutely. It only takes a decision. And when they make a decision, yeah. then there's movement and you can move forward with yeah. whatever yeah. you're trying to discover, right? And explore. Yeah. Yeah. And mm -hmm. the funny thing is, it's that people think that they need to know how. The thing is, once you do make a decision, you do the jump like I did, something wonderful happens within your mind. Mm -hmm. You become creative. You become, when you push yourself, if you put your, you have a goal in front of you, you have to have something that you can be passionate about. Maybe, you know, you know how it is falling in love? Find something that could resemble the feeling of falling in love. When you have this passion towards doing something and you make the move, you make the decision to go all the way, something wonderful is happening within our creative mind. It is so, it's expanding. Mm -hmm. And we don't only have our own mind, but we expand. I don't know where it comes from, and we can always discuss where this comes from. Mm -hmm. But it is enormous. And you will have ideas, you will find solutions, and you will attract to yourself the people, the right people that can help you. Like I met you, Dr. B. Mm -hmm. Like we met at the International Women's Day. Okay. And all the people that happens, you know, when you start moving, things will happen. Exactly. I know things will happen. And I, I, I'm delighted and honored to have met you uh, this week. And I want to award you a certificate because I think mm -hmm. that you are doing great things, powerful things. And there's a moment in time that we have to, somebody has to, you know, recognize her greatness and, and you've been doing phenomenal work all over the world and, and you are going to continue to do great work. So with deep appreciation for your visionary guidance and exemplary leadership skills, I want to present this phenomenal women recognition certificate for you. I am so honored. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll be sending it to you very soon. Do you have a gift? How can people connect with you? You know, the easiest way to connect to me is either to find me on Facebook or Instagram. You will use, you can use my name, Marietta Stangelan, and uh, you, I can write it in the chat so you can have it. I think you already have it. Mm -hmm. uh, and you will find me or you can go into my website, which is just Marietta, M-E-R-E-T-E dot N-O, nothing else, M-E-R-E-T-E dot N-O. And of okay. course, it's the HTTPS and everything in front. If you want to type it in our private chat and then I can share it here. I will. So again, thank you. Thank you for showing up and saying yeah, And I also have, I also give uh, the first six people that are jumping in there, I will give half an hour free coaching. And mm -hmm. for all others that are going in, I will give 15 minutes. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for that.
So for all of you, take action. If you have any questions, if you're watching the replay and you have any questions you want to connect, there's a lot of gift that will be given to you today. So you're going to have to watch most of the speakers so that you can capture the links that will be shared here today. Take action because everyone that's showing up today, they're doing great work and they have something fabulous to share with you. And believe it or not, if you're ready to take that extra step to success, whatever that might look in your book, then these are the women that you want to connect with. So thank you again and big hugs. And I will see you. I'll be going to London again in August. So um, hopefully mm -hmm. we'll plan something and we'll connect and do something amazing. In we'll do. I look okay. forward to it. Thank you very much, Dr. Bye. B. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. So like I've been saying, we are connecting with amazing women and I am bringing up Regne Sinekas. She is the founder of World Women Empowerment and she is also the co-host for this event. Thank you, Regne, <laughs> for being here. You see, when we make plans, life literally happens. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I had uh, I had just uh, electricity cut off in my home. Everybody was running to to, to get to take it back. So everything flows. We are here. We are connected. Uh, thank you very much for for watching and uh, and uh, truly truly uh, <laughs> to be here. I made it, but uh, with Wait. a little bit. No? <laughs> And you know what, Regne, when I logged in this morning, I was having technical issues too. And I was worried. I was like, oh no. But then for some reason, somehow everything came up. And but it took me an hour to get online. Luckily, I tried earlier. <laughs> I, think, I think that's exactly why why we're here today, because uh this is part of our life. And I think um not only women, but and today we are celebrating international women, but this is what what really uh life is, no? Uh, when we juggle with uh with uh, family life, when we juggle with professional life, when we juggle to do everything to to fill in all those roles and uh and I think that uh, the most successful ones are that when the problem comes up, we see the solutions, not the, not the, the obstacles or excuses why we can't do, but but really truly finding the way how it can be done. And I think all those women which uh, which will be presented today re really truly have that uh, that uh, amazing. Uh, uh, skill set in them to really be the 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 solution finder rather than uh, the excuse uh, users so uh, yeah go ahead yeah, that's true you know and today we have phenomenal women and we are celebrating them as regne said and i said earlier but we have our next speaker regne and her name is crystal Balk, and she is amazing she i'm going to bring her up do you want to say a little bit about her? Right well, Crystal is uh, an absolute great example of a young woman who just uh, has her goal set and she will do whatever it takes in order to get there. So she is absolutely inspirational. And what I really love about her is that there is, uh, she doesn't give no as an answer. She, if she doesn't know how to do it, she will find out how it's done. And uh, this is what, how I really, really see her. She always finds the solution and comes up with the best idea. So Crystal, thank you very much for joining us today. Well, thank you so much for having me today. And thank you for your kind words. I, I'm just honored to be here and uh, being able to just talk about some of those great ideas <laughs> that come through through my head at times. And thank you, Dr. Dr. B. Thank you. Thank you. And, you know, we're celebrating international women. And the big theme, uh, Crystal, is why is gender equality so important this time of age? You know? Yeah, absolutely. So. In, in my opinion, and if what I've done and, and so forth, and not being in technology, 
definitely having to have equality is very, very important, especially in my field. Um, we definitely need more of those like women coming out of the shadows and generally being up front and being leaders that they are meant to be. And I think it's progressing and it's coming through a little bit, uh, a little bit slower than what I need than what it should, in, in my opinion. But um, I in well, a little bit slower for a say, but at the same time, being able to understand that, OK, at least in technology, you know, we've had it not that that long ago. And at the beginning, it was just a male quote unquote, uh, position. And eventually women started to say, wait a minute, this is something that I enjoy. I'm creative too. I understand technology. I can learn, right? And those are key factors. I can learn and anything is pretty learnable. And being able to understand that is a key factor as well. So being able to understand that at the same time, not just women, but any, any kind of gender can do whatever they need to do. However, because it's international women, this is it. Now, it's interesting because I actually, my team is all women. Uh, I've been uh, fortunate enough to have strong, independent women that know what they want. Uh, and I have been able to say, hey, why don't you come work with me and giving them the opportunity to go and showcase what they do and what they're meant to do. Um, fulfills my heart because one of the my main main ultimate goals is to be able to bring more women into the tech world and have them really do what they're meant to do in this creative world we need with compassion um, one of the things is technology is known to be very logical as it is it should be it is data driven however um, in, in some factors, it, it does need that um, calmness, that uh, different perspective, that um, t tell me about your story. How do we got here? How, how can we make this work? Um, and also because not everybody knows about, you know, software technology and marketing and it's a, it can be very overwhelming. So being able to have a woman in this industry not only just because of the compassionate side, but also to be to be there for for the potential or or the client is 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 detrimental to their own journey of whether they're really gonna down the road enjoy technology or not. Um, and unfortunately, it comes to a point where we can't not like it because, like you said, it pretty much <laughs> we need it for everything that we do. So definitely be able to support that. And one of the ways that I support and, and impact women are not just by giving them the opportunities and being in World Women Conference and Awards, which I love and adore every single one of you. Um, but also because I have been very fortunate to have mentors like Ragnus and Zanika, like Dr. Angelica and some other ones to for leadership and business and so forth. However, I haven't been very fortunate when it comes to mentors and technology. So one of the things that I want to support and grow as I move forward, and I want to be that support and that mentor for women in technology um, because it's essential. I've, ha I've been very, very fortunate to have a lot of great mentor men in technology, and, and that has been very helpful. But in my opinion, there was times when I needed that that female perspective and, and that understanding of, OK, how can we move forward in this way? I see what what you're saying, but I feel like there's another way as well. So um, being able to be that contact and that, that person where you can come and ask any questions or that person where you feel this is what's happening in my role. Uh, is this normal, right? Um, if this is happening, I'm running into this. What do you think? Uh, being able to be that support for me is well, is very important because I wish I had that. So I, I'm offering from that anybody, any woman, young leader as well, to to come forward and, and come and add me. Add me. I'm very accessible. You can find me anywhere <laughs> in Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and I'll put in my email as well down here uh, in case you need to reach out to me. 
but uh, I, I definitely see a lot of potential where a lot of young leaders are coming through and and I definitely want to be part of that guidance of of your journey and most importantly you guys teach me all anyways <laughs> so thank you well uh, I think that uh, whoever you're watching and uh, if you have been thinking how to really um take your take your knowledge or take your 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 business or yourself as a personal growth part of personal growth to next the uh, next level then uh, proximity proximity to people that have the results the, the proximity to people that uh, really truly can uplift you and empower in a way that you need is something that you need to keep in mind because uh, if we uh, do the same things with it, with the same people, then it's insane to think that uh, we will get uh, any other results. So keep that in mind, and the, and the environment where you really are, as Crystal just said, is is truly truly important because uh, the environment has the has the power to really uh, whether to uplift you or keep you small in uh, in your world. So uh, thank you. Thank you, Crystal, and thank you for inspiring uh, all the all the youth that uh, are following you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Crystal, for being here and saying yes. And I'm going to go ahead and put her contact information so that you can go ahead and follow her and connect with her. She is amazing in technology and marketing and has the right resources and tools, like what Nick says, said, and she is the person to go to. So again, thank you, Crystal, for being so amazing and phenomenal. And we want to award you with this certificate for being a phenomenal woman. And I think that we have to be reminded on how great we are and the great things that we're doing. And today we wanted to make it that special for you. Mm -hmm. So thank you for being phenomenal and continue to be that and keep impacting and influencing women all over the world. Thank, Thank you so much. And kisses and hugs. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day. You know, Regne, um, these women that are showing up today, and we, you know, you and I have connected with so many women and they're remarkable. And we don't want to leave anybody else. So those women that have connected with us, and you're probably wondering, where's my certificate? Well, we love you and we care for you. And the reason we're giving these women, they showed up today and they said yes to us. And, and it's important that we recognize them and, and we give them that special place today in our show. With us today, we also have another extraordinary person. And her name is Dr. Wendy Labot. So I'm going to bring her up. Good morning, ladies. How are you? I guess it's good afternoon in my time zone, but good morning in your time zone. How are you today? We're doing great. Thank you for saying yes and being here, Wendy. You know, I know that we're celebrating International Women, you know, and you have been doing extraordinary work, especially in financial literacy. You know, I think that that's been one of your greatest impacts. And I think that people need to know about financial literacy because we don't know what we don't know, right? Mm -hmm. Especially if we don't know how to save or how to get our budget in order. So we're going to give you the floor. And Abregna, do you want to ask her anything in particular? Or uh, how do you how do you really see that in the field of uh, financial literacy, which which is also very male oriented or has been dominated by male, how do you how do you as a leader really truly uh, make sure that the gender equality is is honored and and really applied in every single step or 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 mentorship that uh, that you follow through. Well, first, I want to make a clarification, uh, and this is something that I, you know, have discovered throughout my career is that, you know, financial literacy, I focus on financial health. You know, financial literacy is knowing what to do and financial health is the effect of whether you've done it or not. So, you know, just like uh, going to the doctor, you know, you know, you're supposed to eat right, exercise and all that. But when you go to the doctor, you got high blood pressure, 20 pounds overweight. You know, it just this the difference because a lot of people know what to do, but they don't do it. But I find that women, 
you know, we do what we need to do to get things done, especially in the area of finances. Uh, men count on their wives. You know, they figure, okay, if she's a stay-at-home mom, which there are very few of them there out there today, but they handle the finances of the home. You know, in the businesses, women handle the finances because we know how to, what my grandmother used to say, squeeze blood out of a turnip. So it's a matter of not just... Um, you know, knowing how to make ends meet, but getting beyond that, you know, to live, you know, financially free and be able to do the things you want to do or provide the things you want to provide for your family. And women are in better positions because we're more receptive and open to, you know, learning things and doing things. And I'm not saying men aren't, but you know, usually they are. <laughs> They're more stuck in a more of an ego thing where we're like, okay, what needs to be done? Let me get it done. And they don't worry about who gets the credit per se. What would be the, the message that you really want to convey to all those incredible women and men? We do not exclude any men, which, which is watching. Um, when it when it comes to uh, financial literacy, I, I, I know that um, a lot of women, and especially when we work with uh, with women that are in their beginning of their career and uh, and really they love what they do, they are in love with their business idea. But uh, what seems to be the weakest uh, point is always really knowing our numbers and and uh, and not even that, but really managing the 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 financial part of the of the business so we could have a sustainable income which which is successful what would be the best advice uh, that you could give there well i would say know your worth and appreciate it and demand that people pay you what you're worth because a lot of times we'll do it for free or do it for you know discount but we need to stick with you know, our value ourselves and our talents and what we bring to the table. And that way we can demand higher income, you know, higher wages. And, you know, that's a problem that we have, you know, just over the years, we always, you know, want to help someone without attaching a financial price to it. Not saying everything, you know, you have to pay for, but when it comes to your job or when it comes to your business, you know, know your worth and appreciate it and make others appreciate it and pay for it. So I think that's one thing I would say is that demand, you know, your worth, demand, you know, the salary that's commensurate with what you bring to the table. I think you said something powerful, uh, Dr. Lambert, because I think that as women and even as entrepreneurs, we do undervalue who we are in our services many times. And many times we don't charge what we're supposed to because uh, the undervalue. Yes. So I think it's really important that as entrepreneurs and business owners, that we set the price for what we're worth. That's for sure. Because, you know, cheap isn't always best. And that's why I tell my clients, you know, especially my tax clients, you know, I tell them if you want cheap, I'm not the person, but if you want good, you're going to pay for it. So, you know, you just have to be firm about it, confident about it, because usually you do have the qualities and the qualifications to charge a higher price. So, you know, don't be ashamed or don't be afraid to do that, especially mm -hmm. in business. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, exactly. So how can people like connect with you? Do you have a gift that you want to give them something where they can connect? I do. Matter of fact, I put in the chat, I'm giving uh, this guide uh, six ways to stop hemorrhaging money and just text the word guide, G-U-I-D-E to 770-796-4944. That's guide, G-U-I-D-E to 770-796-4944. And you'll get uh, my guide on six ways to stop hemorrhaging money. I love it. I love it. Because, you know, sometimes, especially if we're nervous, like we're, I mean, I, I, I'm going to confess when I'm under the stress level, like I go and shop and spend it, you know, but I have to really be very conscious, very intentional and say, no, 
<laughs> I, know what you mean. I think we're all guilty of that. I think that's one thing that we as women have in common. And I'm, you know, I'm guilty of that as well. And but there's a way to do it. There's a way to get what you want without paying for it. You know, and I have, you know, some courses I'm you know teaching that what uh that about with you know using points, rewards, and miles to live the VIP life. So you can shop, but you just have to make sure that you're doing it responsibly. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. So what we want to do right now is also acknowledge you, Wendy, for the work that you've been doing. Um, and we've been connecting for a while, you know, and you've been doing extraordinary work. And this is the time to celebrate you and acknowledge you for being a phenomenal woman and really impacting and making a difference, not only on women, but men and people all over the world. So thank you for showing up for them. Well, thank you for having me. And I appreciate this platform. I've been enjoying the other speakers. You got some dynamic women on the panel. <laughs> we do, we do. Well, thank you, thank you so much. And for those of you that are watching, her free gift is below. So go ahead and get my free guide, Six Ways to Stop Hemadrine, Hemadrine Money text guide to 770-796-4944. And again, Wendy, thank you. Thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Wow, right now, it's really great to see people here. And uh, for those of you that are watching, we're going to be giving gifts. So make sure that you watch every woman that's showing up. I mean, phenomenal woman that's showing up because they're giving a gift in one way or format, either it's a consultation or something that you can get from them so that it gives you an opportunity to step into your greatness, whatever that next step is for you, they will be able to help you. So thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to share a little, little messages for real, real. They were coming in and uh, I'm going to share them here. I know you're backstage or still there. So I want to be able to share that with you. But our next speaker is Gigi Sabat. She has been an extraordinary person in our lives. Uh, Regne. So do you want to say anything while I bring her up? Oh my God, uh, let's say that this uh, amazing inspirational woman is, is absolutely someone who is showing how the footprints are being done in this 3D. Uh, so um, she has the courage, she has the guts and she makes it happen because um, Gigi is someone who just takes the topics that nobody really wants to touch because they can be quite, um, how do I, what, what would be the polite word to use? Those are the topics that nobody wants to talk about because those topics, uh, everybody has their opinion. And, um, and also when we don't have the solutions, then we don't really want to talk about it because, uh, and then, and then, we, 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 we raise the awareness, but there is no solutions. So Gigi is someone who has taken the most uh, painful topics from miscarriage, addiction to cancer, to wider public, and really offering the support and the network that has gone through that, has the experience, and more than anything else are there to help you in the same situation. So this is Gigi Sabat and uh, Gigi has showed me and uh, really showed me how things can be done with a very short time, with so much compassion and passion that uh, she's truly, truly a great role, role model for me to, to learn from. So Gigi, when I grow up, I wanna be like you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ragni, I appreciate you. Well, thank you, Gigi, for being here. And she is a motiv motivational keynote speaker. So tell us, I mean, we're celebrating women, international women, right, during this month. How can these women step into their greatness and, and not only step into their greatness, but also talking about the topic of gender equality? You Absolutely. Know? First and foremost, it's such an honor to be here. Thank you, Dr. B. Thank you, Ragni. 
And now as far as stepping into your greatness, write this down, ladies and gentlemen, growth is truly the beauty of life. And also you are enough. You are enough. Write that down. And remember to always maintain a resilient mindset. When we talk about stepping into your greatness, it starts with you. It starts with you understanding who you are and whose you are and understanding that you are the child of God. And as God's children, we're called to serve his people. So servant leadership truly matters. And so, yes, a resilient mindset is truly required in order to serve his people. And what is a resilient mindset? A resilient mindset is your ability to bounce back after a major challenge has occurred in your life and keep up the good fight no matter what. And as far as gender equality, when we talk about gender equality, again, that goes back to the fact that you are the children of God. Yes, I'm, I'm talking about you. We're celebrating you today. Today, it's about you. That's what we're celebrating this month as well. We're celebrating International Woman. So remember, you matter. And also remember to never give up. Gigi, if there's someone who is watching and has always um, maybe the culture that they are in, I, I can give some examples, Latin America, Africa, where, where women has always been the sort of, uh, it's, it's natural to think that the, their first role is to be at home and take care of the family and then if they're capable enough and if they still have power then the secondary thing is wh what what really what is the life purpose of, of, of themselves and really uh feeling the, the the fire inside what would you say um to find yourself and really truly step into your 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 power how where do you start from I would tell that individual to get quiet, get quiet, take time to self-reflect and listen to him. When we get quiet, we, we can hear him. We can hear, we can hear God. And so it's so important to get quiet, self-reflect, take time for yourself, right? And self-care truly matters because as the woman earlier said, real, we cannot serve from an empty cup, which is absolutely correct. And so self-reflection truly matters. Self-care truly matters. And that starts with us understanding who we are and then we can serve others. So I, again, I would tell that individual to get quiet and remember prayer truly matters. You know, it's such a beautiful thing in this day and age because we have what is called the Bible app and the Bible app is so amazing because it comes in so many different languages. So it doesn't matter where you are, it, it, what language you speak, you can now utilize the Bible app. And also, I would tell that individual at home, utilize where you are and what you have to serve God's people. Remember, God is the creator of all things, and we're called to serve his people. So, so many folks, oftentimes what happens is they say, well, I don't have this and I'm not here. I don't have an office space. Use what you have right where you are. You don't need much. You don't need much, especially as an entrepreneur or a mompreneur. I know there's many of you out there. So remember, you, you don't need much. Just always show up and show up powerfully and, and show up as you are the child of God and continue to serve his people. You know, Gigi, one of the things that I know that like Regna mentioned, you know, you talk about chaos and, and people like finding themselves again. But when there's people in that dark space and they cannot see anything but darkness, like what can you tell them today? I know you talked about the Bible, but what else can we tell them to connect to when they're lost completely? Absolutely. I would tell those individuals to hold on to faith. As Ragne mentioned earlier, I, I am an advocate for many topics such as domestic violence, sexual assault, mental health topics, anxiety, depression, human trafficking, you name it. And so oftentimes I work with folks, be it women or, or men. And what we're seeing is, especially during this time, COVID, many folks are home. Many folks are feeling alone. Many folks are going into depression or what we're seeing is the suicide rate has gone up tremendously. 
And so if you're listening to this message today, I want to encourage you to hold on to faith, hold on to God and never give up. And remember, God has a purpose for your life. Write that down, ladies and gentlemen. God has a purpose for your life. And remember, you're not what you've been through. You're not the challenges, trials, or tribulations. God is a purpose for your life. As my good friend Amber Lyon says, utilize pain for purpose. Mm, that's powerful. Thank you. Thank you so much. So again, we really want to thank you for being here, Gigi, because you are a powerhouse. Like you have so much to give, so much support to give to people. It's not only um, being there, but the support you're bringing many, many people and, and sharing their stories and people connecting and being able to find solutions to whatever they're going through. So thank you for that. So we want to recognize you as a phenomenal woman this month. And we really appreciate your visionary guidance and exemplary leadership skills that you are providing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Such an honor. I appreciate you. And I do want to leave one last message with your audience today to remember to keep God first and not just in your life, but in your business. Remember, God wants to be a part of all areas of your life. Keep God first and never give up. Yes. And how can people connect with you? And I know you're giving a free gift that and it's listed below. Yes, ma'am. Folks can connect with me via my website, Life Service Center of America, LLC.com. And also today I'm offering your audience a free strategy session. And so they can go to the Calendly link and I'll be more than happy to assist you. Thank you, Gigi. Thank you again for being here today. God bless. God bless you. So Regne, we have our next person, speaker, remarkable person that I also love, I mean, I love the, all of them all. I love them all and so do you. <laughs> but they're all special in a very divine way, right? And the next speaker is uh, Nitsiki no Koko that will be with us. And um, would you like to say something about Nitsiki? Yes. Nitsiki has the power to see the dignity in every single act, in every single person the way that she also always assumes the best and the positive of anyone this is truly inspirational and and i need to agree with you uh that's why those women are in front of us today because they have really shown that they are extraordinary they are unique in their own way and they are reaching each one of them is reaching someone uh, it doesn't matter how wide the impact is, but if we are able to change one life every single day, then do the math. <laughs> how many lives are we uh, really impacting on a daily basis? And Nijiki is, uh, is someone that truly takes youth empowerment very seriously. And she has the skill set, she has the measures to really, really take the youth in Africa to the next level. So I'm very proud of you, Michiki, for everything that you do and obviously what everything that you're going to do. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you so much. Welcome, Nitsiki. And I know that you're also focused on leadership and in integrity to help uh, people really gain that confidence. So welcome. So tell us Thank about you. gender equality and how, why we should be celebrating women and so we're going to go ahead and leave you on stage right now. Thank you so much, Dr. B. And thank you so much, Regni, for this moment again to bring me up, just to share my heart to the international women. First of all, you know me with my positive noise. Hala, hala, from South Africa. City. Malibongwe. Ika malabafaz. Malibongwe. I am saying this because I'm encouraging women. And one thing that I know about women is that we have the strength from within. And I want to emphasize one thing today, that from today, don't even pray for it. Don't even manifest the strength. The strength is in you. And the strength that is in you is the strength of God. He created you with that strength. 
you know, I, I realized and learned this when it was clear that when you were conceived and when that fertilization happened, that's then that you were the strength that made it to conception. So you don't need to pray for it. You have it already. It's in you. Instead, walk in it. Thank God for it every day. And thank God when you come through any challenge, let it be the strength in you that pushes you to the next level. You know what? There is one thing I know. When God said he has plans for us, when plans of God has not yet manifested in your life, there is no time to even look down and drop your shoulders, shape up, walk tall, and take up that, you know, power that in you, the strength and the power is there. Here's one thing that I just want to bring in today as we celebrate women and that we are breaking the bias internationally, not just in one country. As we break the bias, let's break this thing of the gender-based violence, that it is a woman that must leave her comfort zone and a home. That's a bias. A woman is a queen. A woman is a princess. Why are they being sent out of their comfort zones? Take the bull out of the home. Take the one who is a bully. Anyway, here's a topic I want us to talk about today as we break that bias. The global transformational leadership with integrity. It will start right there in our homes. If women are treated with respect, with inclusion and diversity, it starts from home. If a woman is treated with that respect at home by her king, therefore she walks tall and walks in a stature in her power with her integrity to do right even in the workplace or the community, or the business that you are running. Today, women, let us stand up. There is no ceiling that is going to stop us. We have ideas that are going beyond. God has given us gifts, skills, and talents. So the transformation, it must move from the transactions that we do. You know, when we come to sessions, we are transactions transactioning, and these are conversational talks. Let these conversational talks shift to transformation. Let us see the fruits and the results of what we are talking about. Today, we are here celebrating women. From here, there must be results of greatness of what we are talking about. Talks must not just be talks about talks. Let's go and act on what we are talking about. If you are taking any notes from these sessions today, act on it. Let us move to the next level. Let's raise the bar to love self, to love others, to love God, and then we can love what we do every day. Our passion to purpose will be pushed and be nurtured and be encouraged by this strength that we recognize that we have it. We have it. We have it. I'm saying it for the third time. So that we remember every morning when you wake up that you manifest having it and walking in it and stepping into your greatness and your highness. This is how we bring in our charisma. And this is how we lead others. Integrity is doing right behind scenes. They left me alone in this studio right now. I have to speak the right thing and not wait for them to come back and say, no, you didn't speak right there. Wherever you are put, bring in the right rights so that the next generation can take the right baton from us and leave it on. In my culture, there were no schools in the olden days. Younger generation were coached and mentored by the higher generation. When the elders would bring us in, they would speak wisdom. They will speak the authenticity and ethical leadership. 
This is the transformation that we need to bring into the table. Authentic leadership that, that will transform all generations. That is only going to happen through coaching and mentoring and, of course, training. And this is why even in our country, the entrepreneurship is not doing well. You know, in, we are not doing well in that industry because we were not taught. We are still having talks about talks in forums like your black management forum that we need to go back to the drawing board. Entrepreneurs need to be taught. What is it that we have to be and have to live on to the next generation? Here's one thing I want to leave to you. Women, you must know this thing. Women are wondrous outstanding and meticulous exotic naturals let's raise the bar there and keep it like that god is our strength and he has given it to us in the beginning let us spread the love and peace and joy to the world thank you Thank you, Nitsiki. It's wonderful to have you. And we also want to acknowledge you and recognize you for the great work that you've been doing. And um, oh, thank we, you. We want to go ahead and present the certificate to you. It's wow. for being a phenomenal woman. And this is the month to do it. So with deep appreciation for the visionary guidance and exemplary leadership skills that you provided. We want to thank you for showing up for, for the world and really making a difference. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And we will stay connected, Mitsuki. <laughs> thank you. We have phenomenal women joining us today, Regne. And like, they're all fabulous women. And the next one is impacting not only women, Ragnet, but she's impacting youth all over the world. And that's really amazing because it's our generation, right? Generational um, deposits of love and leadership skill. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up Dr. Amber Ann Lyon to the stage. Welcome, Amber. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Dr. Angelica and Regne. How are you today? Beautiful. We're looking forward because every time this uh, this this amazing uh, woman opens her mouth, everybody stops uh, doing whatever they were doing and they just listen because uh, you seem to have a, an amazing uh, amazing uh, way of of. Uh, bringing uh, all that is inside you in the words and it really impacts every time that uh, that you do so so uh, not only that i think uh, you uh, the passion that you have and the commitment that you have uh, towards uh, youth uh, empowerment is is truly um inspirational uh, in a sense that uh, you don't give up even if you if you feel that oh my god this was the the biggest uh, biggest waste of time or this was you just don't give up it's like okay we're going to do it again and we're going to do it better and uh this is how we're going to do it so uh every time i i have the feeling that oh my god is this now like the the the, the lowest point now amber comes up and let's do this <laughs> and here we are Yes, yes. Thank you so much, Regina. It's so funny because um, that don't give up spirit is part of like the one of the mantras for my life. Don't stop. Don't stop. Um, and it is um, something that we all have to embrace, especially over these past two years of COVID-19 of uh, experiencing so much. And the article that I had put in the magazine for Women's History Month and the Be Global magazine with Dr. Angelica Benavides is um, talking about transition. And transition is something that we're all familiar with. It's a change or form of one state of being to another or some type of change. And we have all gone through, I think, what is a metamorphosis during this time. During this past two years of COVID-19, we've all been in that, that cook 
that cocoon, you know, where we've entered in as that caterpillar. And, you know, we've gone to that dark place, even in different periods and times in our life. And many of us have emerged as beautiful butterflies during this transition, this time of transition, this change, this form, we've come into being something, someone different with a bigger voice, with a greater voice. And the work that we do is just so important to be, be able to empower our young people to have a voice and to have a platform to be able to have access to a skills advocacy training and for leadership success. So that, 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 place of transition is so key, especially during Women's History Month, because we see the emergence of so many women as someone has already spoke about. Um, I think Dr. B has already talked about our uh, first African-American vice president, um, Vice President um, Harris, um, Kamala Harris. And, and that's pivotal in the time that we live in today because of uh, the importance of e gender equality. It, it speaks to the young ladies the young women who we have to mentor, who we have to be able to say, look, this person was able to do it. You can do it. They look like you. They they, they sound like you. They've experienced some of the things that you've experienced. So um, our younger generation, our youth and our young adults, they need to be able to see people um, that look like them in these positions to know that they're able to, um, even as Black women, uh, have the aspiration that they can um, reach for goals of becoming, you know, a vice president of the United States or in their world, doing different things, whatever part of the world they live in. They can see these things as an example and know that the way you, the way you, what, what you went through is not who you are. Uh, that's another thing about transition. What we've gone through is not who we are. We do not look like what we've been through. And we have to give God praise for that and thank God because the things that we've gone through in our life, the trauma, the life, the, the, the life experiences, the pain. And y'all know that one of the things that I definitely talk about and I, I speak about all the time is the transitioning from a place of pain to purpose. And, it, and you know, even though the, the foundation of our organization for pain to purpose speaks to domestic violence and teen dating violence, it does not just speak a, a limit pain to that. People are dealing with all kind of pain today. And I, I just was speaking on a, um, I was a speaker this morning at um, a corporate all meeting event. And I was speaking to them about um, uh, an empowering mess message. And I spoke to them about the, the, the place of transitioning from pain to purpose and spoke to them about, you know, so many different things that I've been able to leave with them today. And they were walking away saying how powerful it was because people want to know that even within what we're doing on a daily basis with our nine to five, with our families, that there's something within us that we still can dream for. There's something within us that we still have a yearning to fulfill that it. What is that it? I was speaking Saturday night to um, uh, 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 an event, a women's empowerment event called Hey, Hey Lady, Let's Connect. And it was talking about just do it. But what is your it? I asked, what is your it? A lot of people don't even know, even at some of our ages as adults don't know what their it is. And it is our job to be able to encourage and empower young women and men to be able to know what your it is and how to transition from that place that, that you feel stuck, where you feel immobilized, where you feel like you don't know how to move forward to give you the tools and the resources to be able to help you to move into that place where you can begin to thrive, where you can begin to uh, do the things that you love doing. So um, I, I'm, I'm glad to be here. I'm excited to be here. And uh, I, I'm just delighted to be on a platform with so many celebrating phenomenal women during the month of Women's History Month, because we know that there's a space and a place for us in this world. And we're the example that other young ladies can look to and say, if they can do that, if Dr. Amber Ann Lyons can do it, then I can do it too. Thank you, um, Dr. Amber Ann Lyons. And we want to congratulate you because you got your doctor, your honorary doctorate. So congratulations for that. And for being a phenomenal Thank leader, you. you know, for being a phenomenal leader, not only for women all over the world, but for the youth that really, you know, deserve that guidance and uh, and support and being able to find the resources that they need. So congratulations and for being a phenomenal person. And 
Um, we want to appreciate your visionary guidance and exemplary exemplary leadership skills that you have to offer to many, many people. And not only for now, but for generations to come. Thank you so much. I humbly accept the certificate of appreciation. And you guys know that um, whatever I do, I do as a servant of the Lord. I do to empower people, to help people have a voice, to be able to know that you can be who you were called and destined to be and not just merely exist in this world. So I give God all the glory and the honor and thank you so much for being a part of my journey. Thank you, Regne, for, for, for being a, 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 um, a catalyst to be able to help me to even expand to a global platform because it was through World Women's Conference and awards that my, 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 my sphere of influence became global. So I recognize that. I appreciate that. Dr. B, I appreciate, you know, the connection with you and, and working with as a World Women's Conference of what Texas chapter leader at the time that you did. And I'm just grateful for these opportunities that continue to stretch us and grow us and have us to be able to impact and impart and to hope and impart life into the people who are signed to our hands. Thank you. Thank you. How can people communicate with you and connect with you? Um, well, all of my social media is on Linktree. <laughs> so you mm -hmm. can uh, connect with Oops. We kind of had a technology glitch, Dr. Amber. We kind of lost her. Can you hear me or is it is it her, Regna? I can hear you. I think it's it's her connection. It's okay. Well, we'll bring Amber in a little bit again so she can give her information because I think we lost her a bit. And <laughs> we, you kind of froze on us, Amber. I don't know if you can hear us or not, but yeah. If you can uh, type in in the private message how people can connect with you, and then I will post it here in a minute. But thank you so much, Amber, for showing up, and we'll continue to connect. Yeah, she lost connection. So, again, we want to remind people that are listening, uh, you need to watch the replays. We have phenomenal women from all over the world that have been sharing their message. and. Uh, we're celebrating them. Uh, we also had Nitsiki, and I did not share her free gift. So here's her free gift. It's one hour free personal mastery webinar. So you can get her information below and be able to connect with her. Here's Amber. She came back. Let me bring her back really quickly. Amber, so sorry we lost you. No, that's okay. That's technology. That's how it is. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, and um, they can uh, contact me through Linktree, and there's a link there for a free um, consultation, and they can, um, you know, consult with me, and we can try to service people however we are able to, so I appreciate um, the certificate and this time. Thank you, thank you so much. You have an amazing day. Bye-bye. Thank you, you too. Blessings. Bye. You know, for those of you that are watching, uh, Ren, Regna, Sinecas, and myself, and some of the speakers here today uh, participated in Visionary Women Leaders Discovering the Greatness Within. And you can get this book on Amazon. So for those of you that want to really read stories on some amazing women, you can go here, you can get it. In fact, if you message me, send me a DM, you will only pay for shipping only for today. So you have to take action only for today and we will give it to you. But the only thing you're paying for is the shipping because I don't know where you're at. And sometimes that is a little different. So for all of you. So thank you for uh, being here and keep watching because we have amazing women showing up today. And Regne, I went to Paris because we were celebrating International Women's uh, Month, and I met some amazing women. And one of them has already presented earlier, and the next one is Amelia. So I'm going to bring in Amelia. Amelia, are you here? I'm hoping she's here because I 
I see you, <laughs> Amelia. There Hi. you are. Yay. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> oh, so great. <laughs> so um, great to be here. It's an honor having you here. I want you to meet amazing Regnus and cousin. You need to make connections with her. Um, Amelia is from Denmark. Amazing leader. Norway. Phenomenal. Norway. Oh, Norway. I'm sorry. I, I've met so many women that I've everything's crossed, but from Norway. So thank you, Amelia, for being here. Now, tell us a little bit about yourself. And, and one of the things that she does, she does amazing dancing and moving that energy and chakras, you know. Uh, and she does a lot more, but but that dance, moving the body, when, especially when we're stagnated and stuck. And I think it's really important, Amelia. And yeah. you've done a lot of inner work yourself. And I know that your work is deep, spiritual, dive into the inner wisdom, right? Finding the inner answers within ourselves. So um if you want to go ahead and share anything else you want to add that you want to question her regnet so we can give her the stage well first of first of all it's uh, it's uh, very nice to meet you someone uh, from europe as well uh, i'm from estonia living now in mexico at this point but uh but nice to nice to feel that energy my, from my father's side, we have Vikings in, in our bloodline, so I, I feel deep connection with you. And I know the, the best, best, best way to really get out of your mind and get into your heart when the things are starting to change is that to, to really, truly um, have the skill set and have the knowledge and the awareness how to change your state very fast. And dancing is one of them. So whatever she's going to give you today, Keeping in mind and better write it down. So next time when you feel low, you know what to do. And maybe she even shows us some moves. So uh, <laughs> very welcome. Uh, nice to nice to meet you. And I'm looking forward what what's come what comes next. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for that no very nice words. And uh, I want to say that I celebrate this month that I actually went to Paris and I did my first speech telling my story, a very hidden story. Uh, I was too ashamed to tell it and I did it. And actually I even went, and that was a crazy thing. I went into the local newspaper today, told my story. And uh, I don't, I didn't do that because I want people to pity me. I do that because I am an empowered woman today and I'm here to serve others. So I told my story about 15 years of sexual abuse from one and a half year to 16 and dancing saved my life. So dancing has been a huge part of my life and it still is. Now I go deeper, I've done that for for some years, but I do um, chakra dances, ecstatic dances, and Afro healing dances, and of course, Latin dances to just stay happy and dance with beautiful men. Well, anyway, <laughs> um, I also celebrate being here with you guys because it, it really feels amazing to be, it's the same as I felt in Paris, to be together with so many empowered women who has, all of them have their story, but together we can change the world and I can feel it. I feel the energy and I love to be here. So thank you for that. So why is it so important to me to talk about sexual abuse? Because it's not like a very happy topic, but it is an important one because there are so few faces out there uh, telling the true story and the true story is that every 107 seconds a child is sexually abused one out of three girls one out of six guys boys are sexually abused before they turn 18. 93 percent of those that tells documented the abuse knew 
loved or respected, trusted their abuser. Uh, according to the World Health Organization, they say that 736 million women are abused physically or se sexually in the world. It's global. So that's why I do this. Okay, but it doesn't stop there because of course we're gonna stop running and we're gonna face our demons we're gonna work through them and we're gonna let go of the past i'm here to say that there are always hope because i exist and i am happy i have inner peace so we're not stopping with surviving does we do we no we don't when we have survived we're gonna thrive and that's what i'm here to to tell you that there's always hope i want to create awareness of that and of course of how many people who are suffering this and has this story but i'm also want i'm here to say that we're not gonna stop there we're gonna make this world a better place one by one and together we are so powerful and I'm so grateful. Thank you. Thank you for daring to, to speak your truth. Because many times when we speak our truth and we begin to heal, you know, there's a lot of inner healing. I know that you've healed, but when we start talking about it, I, I truly believe that we heal even more, like at, at the deeper tissue level, right? And DNA. And not only that, but we help others. Uh, we inspire them and give them hope that there is hope, that they're not the only ones that have gone through that experience and uh, being able to guide them through whatever yeah. they're going through. So thank you, Amelia, for your courage. Thank you. And <clears throat> I, I want to say something about the, why gender equality is so important to me. Mm -hmm. It's... Uh, it enables women to form more equal relationships uh, with men uh, and um, also equal rights because of my experience, this is so important to, to teach young girls. I know sex, you know, I don't know how it is in your countries, but in Norway, it's there, they, there are these apps where you scroll and you say yes or no. And it's all about sex. And to, to learn, teach them how to, to respect themselves, to, to have their boundaries, to, to own their worth. Uh, it's so important for them to have a healthy relationship with, with men and also claim uh, their equal rights in every aspect in their lives, not only relationships, but, and also, of course, the relationship you have with yourself. Um, so know that you are worthy and that nobody has the right to do anything that is not okay for you. Okay. I think that's a powerful message that young girls need to listen, you know, that they have to create the boundaries and they have the right to say no. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's powerful. Thank you. Thank you for reminding a lot of women and young ladies out there. You need to connect with Gigi. <laughs> so <laughs> that connection with Gigi. She's okay. Yeah. Um, and we also want to, you know, recognize you as a phenomenal woman for standing in your truth and speaking up and sharing your message with other women that um, have experienced what you experience. And then yet they haven't, you know, emptied the closet or opened the closet where that monster exists and it keeps haunting them. So thank you for being a phenomenal woman. Uh, thank you and, so much. Yeah, and with deep appreciation for your visionary guidance and exemplary leadership skills. Thank you so much. Thank right. you. 
want to add anything? Sorry. Um, I think that uh, that um, based on that story, whoever you're watching this, I, I hope that it inspires also to understand that every story matters and your story matters as well. And sometimes your story can be the guidance and can be the true inspiration how uh, the lifelong uh, pain uh, can be ended by, by just... Uh, revealing it coming coming out and uh, and uh, you really what you're doing you're not just telling your story you're empowering every single person ha who has gone through that because they can relate and they know that coming out is the only right way to do it and the only way to really release it for once and all so you can actually move forward in your life so uh amelia thank you very much for sharing your story and thank you, thank you very much for showing up every single person that, that that hasn't been able to, for some reason, to do so themselves. Yeah, thank you. And uh, I just want to say that no matter, you can unleash the power within, no matter the circumstances. And it's a choice. And you have to take responsibility. And so it's miracles going to happen. And you don't have to take that journey by yourself. You can contact me or whatever woman that feels right for you and just do it. Be powerful. Mm -hmm. Great, great. How can people connect with you, Amelia? And do you have a gift that you would like to uh, share? Yeah, I... I gave you the calendly link so they can connect with me there um and i also have a chapter in a book i've been uh, co-written in um it's called from zero to hero so if they go to my facebook it's only amelia fjellvard so my facebook they, and say i'm ready so if they do that they will have i can send them my pdf chapter yeah so okay. they can have that 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 goes more in depth on my story and it also has 10 10 things they can do to to work on themselves and um it's also about dancing there <laughs> and and how healing that is <laughs> mm -hmm. it is it is if well, you, thank you. no if people want to know more about how they can heal themselves through dancing you are welcome to contact me, okay? Thank you, Amelia, for showing up. And it was a great pleasure meeting you in Paris. And I know that we're going to make deeper connections. And I'm going to see you in, um, it's not Denmark. Where is it again? <laughs> Sorry. In no, in no way, you're going to come to Larvik and we're going to rock it. Mm hmm here we're gonna create a very nice event for you and uh yeah we will see each other then absolutely it's gonna be in august so stay tuned everybody thank you Emilia. bye bye oops sorry well the next person is dr anastasia lewis she is also a mindset coach author creator of the dream maker matrix so with us, we have Dr. Anastasia. Thank you so much for being here. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Awesome. Greetings from the Bahamas. It's a beautiful day here in the Bahamas. Good. It's still, mm -hmm. no, it's afternoon here. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. And it's a great month, Women's Month. It's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful month. The month of March. The only month that gives a command, March. Mm. So I'm excited. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, Dr. Anastasia, I know that you're doing a lot of amazing work with women all over the world right now. So tell us, tell us more about why women should celebrate, especially during this month and maybe their whole life. And then about gender equality, you know, um, 
Why is it so important? And then what are you celebrating? Okay, so. great. Thank you again for this awesome platform and greetings to your awesome host, Regne. Thank you all for having me again. Um, I always tell people, the hand that rocks the cradle rules the world. And I believe that God has given women this special influence. We are people who nurture. And so it's very important for women to have a great hand at the table at anything because we are nurturers. Um, we influence people. We help people to build. A lot of people would say that a woman can either make you or break you. But when we have women who are of the same mindset and understand the power of collaboration, and the power of building and the power of giving your best and the power of team building and the power of edification, we will become a force to reckon with. And I believe this month was a great month to celebrate women and their accomplishments because that edification is so important because a lot of people um, have been talked down to, they have been beaten. They have just been to a place where they think that they don't have what it is that they need to function and they do have it. God has given everyone gifts and talents and some people just need a little help to bring out the gift that's in them. And I believe that everybody has a piece to someone's puzzle. Um, I may not be everything, but whomever has it, my job is to connect with whomever has what it is that I need. And I'm excited because you have awesome women here who are able to identify the strengths of one another and bring them all together and help people. And I think that's what it's about. And once you find that, I think you can find success. And once you find your success, you have to pay it forward. You have to help somebody else. You have to keep teaching it. So it goes on and on and on. Um, so this month, I love the month of March because I was born in March. So March is a wonderful, wonderful month. And you know, March is a month that is a powerful month. March is the month that tells people, hey, focus. We've already passed three months of the year. Um, focus, focus on it, on what it is that you need to do. If you have to keep writing and rewriting and rewriting and get it done. And so I want to thank you all for um, this platform because there are many women who are here who help me personally to help me to get a little bit more organized or they see a deficiency in me and say, hey, um, if you do that, you'll have a better um, success. I have a whole lot of women that can inbox me and say, hey, what's going on with you? And that's so important. People don't understand what that means. And so I appreciate all of you. And I can tell you, teamwork, collaboration, and edification works. And I um, am a person because I consider myself a builder. I'm going to put my hand um, on, on people. And that's what I do. I help people uh, uh, to make money. I train them. I teach them. Um, I help women get doctorate degrees. Um, I also bring a lot of women together. And I show them the power of spending money with, with one another in my um, network, Woman, Wife, Entrepreneur Network, because we can't just only talk. So if I know you have a service or a business, I need to pay for it. I don't want to just say, oh, well, because I'm connected to you, do me a favor. No, I'm going to pay. And so we have to teach people to really pour into one another and to really help them because um, you cannot go to the gas station and say, hey, I want a credit on gas or, or hey, uh, uh, um, yes, uh, um, I just need a favor to deal with the bills that I have. So I, we want to empower women to spend women, to spend money um, on, on, on top of it to help other women. And anybody who is connected here, if you want to come to the Bahamas, just send me an inbox. I'll help you do that. It's no issue because, like I say, collaboration is key. And sometimes you do have to travel. Um, you have to travel sometimes. You have to experience different communities, different atmosphere, so you get a different perspective on who you're dealing with. Because there are many, many differences in cultures amongst women that you need to learn so, you got, you, so that you're able to help more and more women and so i love this platform i appreciate what you guys are doing 
I've seen so many powerful women on this platform and I salute all of you and anything that you can do to help one another, please continue to do so, continue to teamwork, continue to build, continue to edify. And even if somebody doesn't fit your cup of tea, you know, continue still to encourage them because everybody isn't for everyone. But the point of the matter is edification is still important and that team building is still important. So connect. You never know who is the missing piece to your puzzle. Just inbox them and say, hey, I saw you here and, and I want to connect with you. How can you help me? And like I said, I can say publicly, thank you. Um, 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 Dr. B and, and, and Ragnar, this is an awesome platform. You guys are doing great. I see you all the time. I salute you as phenomenal women worldwide. You got it going on. You all you're just don't know how you help so many women around the world because of your connection and because of what you're doing and because of your platform. That's off to you guys, man. That's all. Thank you, Dr. Lewis. Ragnar. Well, true powerhouse, what can I say? When she enters the room, the room is full of energy. And I think that's exactly what we need to do to elevate, to uh, to create that energy, what we want to see in the world and and really attracting those people that that, that can, uh, can generate more synergies that can uh, really create those opportunities to each other to to uplift, to open doors and, and be the guidance uh, once once we need it. So I uh, truly appreciate you, Anastasia, for, for everything that you do. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Anastasia. And we want to be able to um, uh, also congratulate you for the phenomenal work that you've been doing around the world and uh, with deep appreciation for your visionary guidance and exemplary leadership skills, we want to offer you an uh, provide you this certificate. Thank you, thank you so much for the work that you do. Thank you all so much as well. I appreciate you. And like I said, anytime, just send me a message uh, through my uh, messenger. It's, I'm just Dr. Anastasia Lewis on Facebook, on any social media platform. I'm here to serve as uh, uh, God leads. So thank you all so much. And again, you're doing a phenomenal, phenomenal job. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, Regne, we are not at the end, but we're getting closer. So for those of you that are watching, stay tuned. You have to do the replay because these amazing women that we've interviewed are giving you a free gift, either consultation or something free that you really want to get that will help you to get to the next level. And we are celebrating phenomenal women from around the world. With us today, this is also another person I met in Paris. Like I love making connections. Everywhere I go, it's like I connect with women. And so do you, Regna, because that's how we connected, right? We connected online. We made a deep connection. And then now here we are as co-hosts and we've done amazing work together. So I want to introduce you to Sonia Green Reynolds. And welcome, welcome, Sonia. And thank you for saying yes and being here today with us. Awesome. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> <laughs> so I want you to meet Ragna Sinek because you really need to get, make connections with her. Uh, she is the founder of World, World Women Conference and Award, Awards. And I think now it's the Women World Empowerment also. Mm -hmm. Uh, so make connections with her uh, even before you leave, like private awesome. message each other. But tell us, like we are celebrating today International Women's Month. And as you know, we did that in Paris. And it's all about also this month is specifically uh, the theme is around gender equality. Why is it so important? What are you celebrating this month? And how do you impact and influence women? Uh, thank you so much for having me, Ragna. Dr. B, it was absolutely amazing meeting you, connecting with you. And so I want to just thank you for giving me the opportunity to join this conversation. This is a powerful conversation where ever we talk about women and women empowerment, it is a powerful uh, conversation that we want to share. These are the kind of conversation we want to share to uplift women because we might think that you know 
this is getting a little bit saturated, but uh, the research shows that this is exactly what we need to move women forward, that this level of awareness, these conversations that are bold and courageous, um, because once we do that, you know, communities move forward. And so you're asking me what it is that I am celebrating this month. Uh, as for me, for example, I am really just celebrating the confidence to really act on those things that I dare to dream. Uh, so many times women are just a little bit shy. You know, research shows that women and men will have the same ideas but the men will go forward and they will believe in themselves, whereas women tend to have 150 questions. They question their worth, they question their uh, strategies, they question you know, if they're good enough, if, they, if the environment is right, they question every single thing. And in the end, they talk themselves out of taking action. And this has certainly held back a lot of women. And so I'm here today to really encourage women to stand up for themselves, stand up for your ideas, stand up for who you are. Uh, the fact that you're having these thoughts, the fact that you're having these uh, strategies in your mind, you're not crazy. It's literally what we call your gift. It is literally what we call that seed that God has placed inside of you. And so it's important that as women, we surround ourselves and we find communities that actually help us to really nurture those kind of seeds that God has placed in us and where we develop and build and activate our confidence so that we can take the actions that we need to take to move forward. Because when women move forward, communities move forward. We move forward, we take our children with us, we take men with us, we shift and we change and we create uh, a change. And that's what I'm celebrating this uh, month here. Angelica, you are on mute. <laughs> okay. There. <laughs> I was just saying that, you know, it's it's powerful that you're talking about confidence because as little girls or or young men, we are programmed to always ask for permission. And I think because of that program, I'm not saying stop telling your kids to ask for permission, but but the programming of even in school, you know, sometimes we as women or men, we feel like we cannot speak up. We are, we lack confidence, right? Mm -hmm. So I think that topic that you have is really powerful and needed. Awesome. It, it's essential. It is everything that we need to look, you know, people talk about being a risk taker. You need confidence to take risk. Uh, in, in, in order for you to take a risk, step forward, uh, try, fail forward, do everything that people like to talk about, you need to have that, that foundation, that confidence in yourself, knowing that, hey, you know, it's okay for me to fail. It's okay for me to be on a world stage and not get it right. It's okay for me to try again. It's okay. Like, give yourself the permission to actually know that that's okay. Whoever want to laugh at you, it's okay. Whoever want to criticize you, it's okay. Mm -hmm. You can fail forward, but it definitely will take some courage. It will take some confidence on your behalf. And once you get to that place where you are willing to make a mockery, if we dare to say, of yourself, where you're ready to fail in front of the world, you're ready to try, you know, you're ready to take action on that gift that God has placed inside of you, you are ready to just put yourself out there, then you know that you're at a great place. And, you know, you can start celebrating yourself because 
that's that's a journey in and of itself again because at some point you will need that increase in confidence as well to take you know bigger risk to take uh to dip a little bit deeper and to give yourself more permission to push the barrier a little bit further that's going to be needed as well thank you anything pregnant no, I, I totally agree because uh, uh, in the end of the day, it's 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 all about the, um, sometimes we and winning in the world that we, we sort of uh, push push our authentic values on the on the on the other side because uh, we we see and we have been uh, been really validated all all the time by our surroundings. So yeah. sometimes might get confused with with our true authentic values and what we want to bring to the to the world with with the one what 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 our surrounding and the world really celebrates so it's a uh, it's uh everything that you you spoke it's uh, it's it's it connected with me uh, so so well so thank you for sharing your your insights and uh, it's truly amazing thank you Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you, Sonia, for being here and saying yes, and also for contributing all the amazing work that you're doing. We want to be able to, you know, share this, um, sorry, this certificate of phenomenal women recognition and with deep appreciation for your visionary guidance and exemplary leadership skills, we, we present this certificate to you today. So... Awesome. Thank you so much. I definitely feel honored. <laughs> and I am excited as well. You know, um, the time zone is a little bit crazy, but that's one of the things that as women we do. Like if we decide to make it happen, we make it happen. So that's why it's super important that as women, we find our strength, we find our confidence, we find our power and we stand in it so that we can, uh, you know, live the calling that we are called to live so that we can impact the world in the most amazing way and serve God as we're created to. Yes, absolutely. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for showing up and uh, we will stay connected, Sonia. Thank you so much for having me. Take care. Bye. Take care. Bye -bye. <laughs> <laughs> and next, you know, we both know this other amazing person. She's doing phenomenal work with uh, other women in around the world. I was recently on her uh, one of her platforms, and she is the mindset coach. She is an author and creator of the Dream Maker Matrix. And I apologize, I, I gave this title to somebody else, but this belongs to Belon Medina. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. And let's bring her up. <laughs> Did I say it correctly? <laughs> it's Bailan Medina. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Any questions for um, Bailan? Yes, yes. Uh, Bailan has been uh, a great. Uh, what I like about her, she always brings balance, and she she even if uh, if there is a chaos in the rooms, she always uh, brings the the total harmony, and and it's like no, no, no. Let's do it. Like let's take two steps back and let's uh, let's let's uh, consider it to do that way. And this is what I really love about you because you you um, you just don't go with the flow, but you you just bring the harmony and the balance. And I think uh, it's also very important in when it comes to gender equality. How do we? react on those those topics because i have seen unfortunately last week uh, i have seen so much uh, amongst women and some being even offensive when we are talking about celebrating women and then it, it really made me feel sad because um it doesn't make the month of our history month of women we know what what the, our ancestor needed to go through in order for us to have those rights which we have today we know that and we don't discard it 
but also the the sort of uh, amongst ourselves this you know getting on each other's neck instead of of really elevating uh, supporting and uh, and how do you see that the gender equality as such how should we as women approach and transmit that to our uh, our surrounding and in our community well you know thank thank you for having me on this um this platform, it's really important for us to remember that we as women are the carriers of life. And as carriers of life, um, it's our responsibility to, to live the equality that we are and to live that equality in all ways. We have that responsibility. <clears throat> you know, people say, well, how can we be equal? Well, we just are. We already are equal. And so we have to look at how roles have changed. Women to women, women to men. Um, our roles have changed not only through time, just I would say in the last five to 10 years, so many things have changed. The lines have blurred and women are very, very concerned, very concerned about what all the problems are in the world. I mean, look at the war that's happening right now. Look at the poverty and all of the hunger that's, that is all around the world that is surrounding us. And we look at what can we do? There is so much that is wrong in the world. What can we do? And we can do at the very, very first thing is we can do what only women can do. We can love as mothers. We can love as the nurturers. We can do that for ourselves first. Because when we can love ourselves, when we can fill up with that light from the divine and get to that point where we're overflowing, then it's so easy. It's so easy to approach another person with equality and with the expectation of being met with that level of care you know if what we're doing we have to look at what we're focusing on we are focusing quite often in those situations that you mentioned ragna quite often we're focusing on the lack we're focusing on what we don't have in our lives that maybe somebody else does we're focusing on the pain of the past and we have to do that in order to heal. Yes, we need to look at it. <clears throat> we need to be aware of it. And we have to look at how do we move past it. It's too easy for us to get stuck in the pain. They, they, uh, uh, I, I'm sorry, I just had a, a different thought. Um, so what can we do? we can be who we are truly here to be. We are here to be equal partners. We are here to give of our gifts fully. We are here to do what we came here to do as only we individually can do. And as women, we know how to look for solutions. We know how to, um, to support the greater good. We know how to make decisions that support everybody else's life that support creativity so that others can flourish also and we can make decisions in our work in our lives that reflect that we are the stewards of life especially during this challenging time we shouldn't have to um, ask for our equality assume it we are equal and act from that place. When you start to act from that place, you're treated differently. If you start to act from that place of, oh, I'm a victim or, oh, the world has been really difficult for me and I'm, I'm downtrodden, there is a time and space for that when you are, are in the middle of your trauma, in the middle of your challenge. But you know what? God doesn't want you to stay there. God wants you to be happy. Find the way to be happy. How can you make yourself happy? How can you 
find your dream. I remember sitting in a circle with 12 other women and being asked, what's your dream? And I had absolutely no clue. No one had ever asked me that. What's my dream? My dream was to help everybody else have theirs. Be the good girl, be the good wife, be the good mother. But my dream, I don't know. I had no clue. So I had to find it. And in looking for understanding how to not only define my dream, but how to make it happen, I was able to de develop the dream maker matrix, yes. But it's so beautiful because what I learned was that if what we do is we just open ourselves up to listen to inspiration, that divine inspiration that can come to us in those quiet moments. If we pause long enough to hear the little murmurs that spirit is offering to us, then we can take that inspiration and we can think it through and then embody it and then make it our own and then include others in bringing it out into the world. We can manifest in a way where everyone thrives, where everybody, everybody can shine. You know, we have to raise our voices, yes. We have to be heard. There, there is no question about it. We have to step in, no question. Um, but, you know, most important thing is to, to discover what is it that is yours that you want to put out in the world. And the thing is, sometimes we don't know. A lot of the time we don't know. People say, well, what's, your, what's, what's my purpose? I don't know, what's my purpose? Only you know, but it's easy to get a sense of what it might be when you look over your life. Where were those times where you were happy? Where were those times when you could do think, do that whatever it was, when you could do it for hours on end without even thinking, where you would do it for free? You know, what are those things that just come so naturally to you? Those are part of your purpose. That's the reason why it comes so naturally to you, because that that's what you're here to give. So shine your light because you are unique. And you know, that I what I'd like to say is that there is one quote from Howard Thurman that I encourage everybody to, to download. Just go find it. It says, Don't ask what the world needs. Ask what makes you come alive and go do that. Because what the world needs is people who have come alive. So I encourage you, please, go find something that makes you happy and go do it. Go do it. That's what we're here for. <laughs> That's powerful. I loved it. I am, give me a second. Where can people find you and what is your free gift that you have? Oh, I have a master class where you can um, where you can define your dream maker matrix, which has five main areas, but then we go six levels deep. So it's amazing because you can when you know what your dream maker matrix is, your decisions are simple and so everything gets aligned and things happen faster, a lot faster. Incredibly faster. So um they can have the, the free master class. Um, I have the code here and just message me, send me a message on LinkedIn or on Facebook, or you can find me at Global Dream Makers. Okay, well, thank you so much. And then we also wanna recognize you as a phenomenal woman for contributing great work and uh, impacting and influencing many lives. So thank you for that. Uh, with deep appreciation for your visionary guidance and exemplary leadership skills, we uh, recognize you as a phenomenal woman in this during this month. Thank you. Oh, I'm so honored. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. And we will stay connected. So for those of you that want to get her free gift, this is where you can go. Go to LinkedIn and then just send the message. We love it. Thank you, Phelan. Thank Hi. you. <laughs> Thank you, Ragna. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. 
Well, Regnae, we are getting close to the end and we still have two more ladies that we want to acknowledge. Um, no, excuse me, she, one more. I think um, Dr. Rosalyn has been here and this technology has been kicking, kicking her out. So we're gonna give her a chance, she'll be back. But right now we do have Desiree. She's also having technology issues. So you're probably not going to see her face because the video will completely take her out. But with us right now, we have Princess Dr. Desiree Richardson. Welcome, Dr. Uh, Richardson. Thank you for being here. Can you hear us? Yes, thank you so much. Can you hear me? Yes, we Loud can. Loud and clear? Yes, wow, we thank you all so much. I just want to start off by saying, my one wish for women everywhere is to feel inclusive, empowered, and to be happy, to live in a world where they feel loved, valued, and respected, and where diversity, kindness, and peace can be radiated and felt through their existence, and their experience. Happy Women's Day. We're celebrating Women's Day uh, throughout this whole entire month of March. And I want to say I am so happy to be here. So thank you so much, Dr. Angelica and Regne, for the opportunity to be on this amazing platform. And congratulations to all of the women who were before me and who were coming after. You guys are doing amazing work in the world. So continue to do what you're doing to uplift humanity. And to Dr. B and to Regne, women like you are the guiding lights of our rational world. May your light continuously shine throughout our planet. And may you both continue to uplift women's voices. And also to all of the women watching all across the globe, may you stand, step and stay in your greatness with humility and gratitude for each other. Let's celebrate sisterhood. As a collective, we should never overlook or step on each other. Instead, let's lift each other up, pull each other up, push each other up and hold your sister hand and be her guiding light. Because many women are going through so many things throughout the world, so many difficult times. And all they need sometimes is a voice, a few words to uplift them, a few words to change your mindset. And that's what these platforms are about. It's about bringing peace, into a world, but also to uplift and empower our women and our young girls. So thank you so much. And like I said, sometimes we are like diamonds in the rough, but we need to only align ourselves with our true purpose and inner being and help another woman today. Give her some of your light, leave the door open for her. And uh, may you also share opportunities if you have the platforms and if you anything that you can do to help another woman, just do that for her. I'm saying that, you know, we rise. There's a saying, say we rise by lifting others and, you know, continue to shine your light, women, wherever you are in the world, because the world is full of endless possibilities so create that magic for yourself and for other women out there. So thank you both for inviting me on the show. Thank you so much. Hey, Desiree, I know that you're going to be having your uh, panel very soon. And one of the one of her uh, founding um, work is uh, World Women. No, sorry. <laughs> That's right. Sorry, sorry, Desiree. Uh, she has the Women of Hearts. And uh, tell us a little bit about your work because you kind of did not go into that. And I want women out there to know the work that you're doing, especially if they're listening right now. Desiree, you're, you have different platforms, but tell us a little bit more. Okay, so I would love to take this opportunity to highlight two of my platforms. We have Women of Heart Awards, which is a celebration of women who are making a difference in the world. And what makes us unique is that we are celebrations. So we, 
uh, give, we award uh, indigenous women from all across the world because I believe every woman's story is different and worth celebrating. And so it's a celebration night. So you come out to receive your award and of course to celebrate with your family and friends. So that what makes our award unique. And I say we're like the Oscars for women because we want to uh, share the stories of women, their, you know, what they do in the world uh, to spread love, kindness through humanity. Because women, we are the pillars of our hospitals, infrastructure, schools. We are the creators of our our uh, offices and, uh, you know, the creative world. We are the beaten hearts of humanity. And we are the guiding lights. And one of my platforms as well is called Face of War. And we invite diverse women worldwide who need to make a difference through visual components and voice. And to be part of a mission to continue shining the light on the beauty of diversity, of diverse women who stand together and bring about a positive change. Use your face, your voice, and your message to the world to heal, to motivate, to help transform lives into doors filled with acceptance and, uh, you know, to make other women feel that there is no limitation to connecting with them and to share the same table with them. And so that we can have a diverse and inclusive and let's say balanced world. And many women in terms of equality, many women are fighting for equality, which helps to bring awareness that it's okay to have the same opportunities and overcome any let's say limitations and equal opportunities for the new generation of young girls. I think women are waking up. They, their mindsets are moving so rapidly and they are aligned in themselves. And the world is moving swiftly into a new era and we need each other more than ever as women. So women are fighting for equality. We are aligning ourselves for our rightful place in the world. And we need harmony, we need resilience, we need gratitude and love. And of course we need men. I think more men are coming out now to, to help women and to empower more women empowerment into a world which is brilliant. And that's how we keep equality going when we have men who are also championing great causes for us as women. And uh, because we need to live in a world, you know, far from the perils of the ego and to replace these elements with kindness, peace and love. And once we have our understanding as women and men who understand us will know that it's okay that we can have choices and we are allowed to choose what we want to do in our life. And this is where equality comes in. If we as women, we want to say, for instance, you know, to be a part of the army because we feel that we're strong enough. And as women, we are strong enough. enough. We might be a little, um, you know, on the outside, but inside we are strong, we are powerful, and we are here on earth for a reason. And it's not how we enter in the world. We came with nothing, but it's the legacy we are leaving behind. So I want to say to women everywhere, you are amazing. You are the prize. So keep your eyes on anything that is possible and believe in the possibility and believe that you can do anything that your heart and your mind and your soul desire. So stand up and step into your greatness and take your power back and become what you meant to become in the world. And never let anyone tell you that you're less, that you can do this. Once you have the strength, the determination to move forward, you can become the beacon of hope for the new generation of young girls all across the world. But most importantly, you need to nourish yourself with self-love, self-reliance, and become the independent woman that can make a difference to so many people. I believe in you. And all you need to do is to believe in yourself and do the things that will give the world a chance to know that there are still great people in the world with good intentions.
Hey, Desiree, thank you. thank you for being here. And you have been doing amazing work. I mean, worldwide with both men and women. And we want to take this opportunity to present to you a certificate uh, for being a phenomenal woman, and especially during this month. So with deep appreciation for your visionary guidance and exemplary leadership skills, we want you to know that we honor you and we recognize you, that you are a phenomenal person. Thank you so much. And before I leave, I just want to say thank you once again to both you and Regne. So beautiful. You guys are amazing and doing amazing work for women as well. And, uh, you know, we're living in the times now where we're fighting for, you know, um, the world is needs some healing. And, you know, the only, the only way we can do that is to create awareness for better mindsets of our people. And once we have emotional intelligence, and I believe the greater his heart, the greater the man, the greater the, his kingdom, the greater his people, the greater the world, the greater the children, and the greater the next generation. So I believe without love, what can we do without love? We need love for so in order for for a world to heal. So say no to war and say yes to peace and love. Thank you so much. Put love in all you do. When love wins, the world wins. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Well, thank Desiree you. always has a way to, to, to finish with a microphone drop uh, type of uh, statement. So uh, <laughs> Desiree, I just want to, I want to, I want to tell you how much I appreciate you and, uh, and uh, it, it's a, it's a tr you are truly a an example of um, of a of um, an organization as a woman as an organization that uh, seeks synergy that doesn't that doesn't push through the you know the, the us and we and it's 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 all about unity and that's what that's why I, I I love the way that you always express I love the way that you not not uh, show your gratitude towards women in your words but in your actions and uh, and this is something which which uh, we're, we're we're able to see but more and more the days go by you see it uh, more seldom than than rather than than being a something that we should uh, always keep every day in our minds it's it becomes something which you just turn your head and you say wow wow she, she, yeah. ever, she, she appreciated, she recognized, and um, this is what I love about you. You are an amazing uh, woman. You over-deliver and under-promise every time. So um, I, I just, uh, I truly honor you, and, uh, and I'm so proud of everything that you do. Thank you so much, Regne. And thank you for doing amazing work with your platforms as well. You're such an incredible woman, a beacon of light in our world. And uh, just continue to do what you're doing to make a difference. And, uh, you know, both of you are women of heart uh, recipients because you are a woman of heart. So thank you so much. All my love. Mwah. Blessings to everyone who's listening all across the world. Mm -hmm. Namaste. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Desiree. And um, give me a second. I am so honored to have had so many women from around the world and celebrating them, Regne. I mean, because they are phenomenal and they're doing fantastic work, impacting a lot of women. Um, Regne, I mean, what are you celebrating? <laughs> You know, I think that one thing, and uh, and I just expressed that I think yesterday, maybe or some some days ago, uh, the same way that that we are celebrating our birthdays, we should uh, always when we celebrate our birthday, then then people will tell you you sh should celebrate life every day. Yes, we should. But this is one day when when you are in people's mind like the concentrated way, no. The same day, I, uh, the same way I, I feel about celebrating the, the International Women's Day, that this is something that is widely known, recognized, uh, brought awareness. So many different culture uh, cultures are celebrating in, in a different way, and it's.
we are celebrating the, those women who are in front of you on a daily basis because they show up on a daily basis. But today we just came together and today we want to recognize them. So what do I celebrate? I celebrate that uh, we have been given this opportunity to really lead, to really show the, the way and uh, also leaving the place which is called the earth better place than it was before us. So whatever we touch, we leave it better. And this is the, the why every single woman who showed up today, they're doing it. And so are you who you are watching. Uh, there's so many of you which were not in this platform and I would love to have, but I think then we would be here for the rest of the month because you have been so extraordinary in the things that you do. So uh, we do we do celebrate you because, and we celebrate you every day, not only this month. This month is to recognize, to mem uh, have the m memories uh, that everything that has needed to be done the pain that has been needed to go through and as Pailan said you have the choice are you going to stuck be stuck with your pain or are you going to use your pain to purpose as Amber said and really make the life better for you and for the rest of the generations that are coming so we do not discard everything which is going on in the world we understand but also we need to create the positive energy, the high vibration that can take us out of those, uh, those uh, moments and those circumstances. Absolutely, absolutely. I am gonna share Dr. Amber and Lyons a link uh, that I saw and I wanted those of you that heard her earlier, you need to go back to the replays. We've been interviewing phenomenal women around the world and you need to connect with them. They're giving free gifts, either consultations or something that will help you reach that next level. And we're here celebrating women from all over the world. And next we have Dr. Coach Ross. I'm so glad you're here now because I know that this internet has been going you on. Yes. <laughs> it's been crazy. <laughs> hey, you made it and that's what matters you know yes. what matters is that even when we're having difficulties that we keep trying and trying and trying and and i saw that in you today like you did not give up mm -mm. coming back and coming back and then here you are with your beautiful amazing energy um, <laughs> so tell us what are you celebrating what should women celebrate and why is gender equality so important? And then Regna is going to ask you something. So we'll give you the platform to kind of talk. Okay. I'm celebrating um, women's voice. Um, the importance of women having a voice. That is what I'm celebrating. Um, you know, it's it's my, my show that I do. My global show is called Keeping It Real with Coach Ross Coming Off Mute. And it's important for a woman to be able to speak and speak her truth, walk in her truth and have a voice. You know, my favorite scripture is, is in Psalms 29 and 9. It says the voice of the Lord makes the deer to give birth. Now, if the voice of the Lord makes the deer to give birth, what what is our voice birthing in the spiritual realm? That's a question I have for every woman out there. Your voice matters. Your voice is going to change the world. Just continue to speak your truth and speak out. It's so important. Now, um, you said that's what I'm celebrating is, is a woman's voice. So the other question was, why is gender equality uh, important to me? It's important because when we're talking on the topic of voice, when I was a young girl, I accepted my call into ministry as an ordained evangelist. I was in a in a ministry in a, um, an organization that only believed at that time they didn't believe in women preaching. So the first time that I preached, um, I remember the men being very negative toward me, um, so to the point that where I was so insecure about speaking, and so. I kind of shunned back in the ministry that I knew God had called me to. Um, I remember going to a church and, and getting ready to go up into the pulpit to get ready to preach and getting told by the men, no, women are not allowed up in here. So I know I've learned at an early age 
you know, I've been in ministry now going on 28 years that, you know, I wasn't accepted because of my gender. And so God has blessed to where a lot of those walls have come down. We still have a ways to go when it comes to religion and ministry. Um, but I didn't want to see another young girl have to go through what I went through when I knew God had called me to do something that it wasn't about my gender. Be, doing things in the spirit is not about male or female, but it's about the Holy Spirit using you as a vessel. And so um, that's why gender equality is very important to me. I believe that a, a young girl, a young boy, an older woman, an older man, anything in between, we all have a voice. We all have something to bring to the table. And I always say, that as long as you got a post, you got a purpose. You have something in this world that only you can do. So, ladies, that's that part. If do y'all have any more questions? <laughs> yes, Ros Rosalind, you have kids, and yes. uh, we all know that the true empowerment starts from home. And I, I'm truly uh, uh, advocate, advocating the idea that. Uh, Gender equality can only be uh, a, a, a real thing when we as mothers also take the responsibility and, uh, and show a role, role model at home what, what the gender equality really means by educating our boys and the girls the same way that we don't exactly. make difference, that our comments that we make uh, do not make difference. Uh, so how, how have you used or, or or been teaching your kids the gender equality in your household okay so in my let me say this i am a mother of six kids i have three boys three girls i only have two young ladies 15 and 16 that lives at home the other ones are married and, and off and bringing me wonderful thir i have 13 grandchildren um i'm a nana of 13. and so in my house um number one i lead by example my husband and i we live what we talk about on social media and everywhere else and the way that we do is we respect our daughters and we teach them to respect others we don't say okay well only Tommy can take out the trash because he's a man. Only Tommy can wash the dishes. Uh, I mean, or, or you, you can only wash the dishes because you're a woman. We don't do that. We do everything equal. There's days that Tommy may cook and he may um, he may wash the dishes. Um, there's days that I may take the trash out. The girls may take. We don't do the whole, you know, if you're a man, you do this. If you're a woman, you do that. It's not about that. And we teach them, you know, as looking forward to their careers with them being in high school. We teach them that there's there's nothing that you can't do. Pray and ask God to show you what your call is and where you're supposed to be in life. Find out what it is. You know, we do a lot of, um, we t take them to places and expose them to, to different things in our community so that they can find out what their passion is and what the understanding is. And with our world changing the way that it is, dealing with gender equality, dealing with so many different um, labels on homosexuality and things of that factor, we have to teach them and have those conversations at home so that when they do go out into the school, out into to work or wherever they go, they know how they are to conduct themselves. So we start by, we lead by example. We show respect to what, it don't matter if you're a boy or girl, we teach them the same way. Not only do I teach my daughters, but my grandchildren. My, my, I have grand, you know, boys and I got girls. And so I teach them all the same. We play football with the with the grand boys. We play football with the grand girls. Okay. We we you know we, we cook with the boys. We cook with the girls. There is no difference. And that I believe is the key. When we lead by example and we live the life outside that we live at home. We live the life at home that we live outside. The problem is a lot of times people portray a, a really beautiful picture in social media and all on the outside, but then when you follow them home, they're a totally different person. So I do, I truly believe that integrity and doing the right thing when no one else is looking because God sees all things is the key to gender equality, to knowing who you are. It's allowing Jesus to lead you and guide you, allowing the Holy Spirit to reveal things to you. 
Thank y'all so much for this opportunity. Well, we want to thank you and we want to recognize you today for being a phenomenal woman and thank really you. making an impact and connecting with many women around the world. So thank you so much. And we appreciate you for your visionary guidance and exemplary leadership skills. Uh, thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you. Do you, where can people connect with you? And um, do you have a I'm, job or something you want to yes. offer? I'm on, um, I'm on social media as uh, Dr. Roslyn Willis um, with LinkedIn, Roslyn um, L. Willis and Roslyn Midwife Willis on Facebook. Um, at On Instagram, I'm at Coach Rozzy, R-O-Z-Z-Y, on Instagram. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm excited. Um, yes. So, that, yeah, that's that. And, and that's a, a, one more thing I want to say. As I was, like you were saying, I was study coming back in. Um, and I, that's to someone that is listening now. There's things that you've been trying to do and you didn't, you weren't able to do it. And you just gave up. Don't give up. Don't give up no matter what. Even when, when you know, the Internet's acting crazy. You keep on playing with the Internet, fighting with the Internet, doing whatever, because your voice matters. I knew my voice had to be spoken today because there's somebody, if it's one person that's going to hear the message that they matter and their voice matters, that's what it's all about. Fight, do whatever you have to do. Be that tree. Be mm -hmm. that tree that bends but don't break mm -hmm. no matter what you go through. God bless you all. Thank you, Coach Ross. And thank you You're for welcome. showing up. And I love your voice and your confidence and your courage. All the time you show up, I can feel it. So thank you so thank much you. for that. Bless you. Bless you. Bye -bye. Yeah. The next person and the last person, but not least, is Kristen Christie. I also met her in Paris. It was amazing people that I connected with her. And she is such a delight. You will love her. Kristen and Christy, thank you. Thank you for showing up. I know a lot of people have been having some technical issue, but it's not the issues that we have. It's that we overcome them. And, and here you are. So thank you for that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, will, I will fully admit this was human error. <laughs> a little jet lag, a little, you know, time difference and all that. So thank you so much for the opportunity yeah. to, to come on, even though I missed my slot. So thank you yeah. for the grace. <laughs> thank you. And, and I get that this morning. I, I didn't even have the energy, honestly. I'll be honest with everybody. It, it was like I was so tired because of the travel and, and the time difference. But then now that I've been talking and everything, like I feel back. I'm alive. <laughs> I'm alive. Yeah. And I want you Big to know Miss Sinecas. You know, she's the world women empowerment and founder, and she is one of the co-hosts. So connect with her. She's amazing and you will make great connections. But I want you, we're gonna be talking and celebrating international women. As you know, we did that in Paris and we're gonna continue here for a few minutes. What are you celebrating? And then I know you are a founder and you need to talk about that, how you're impacting people and making a difference. And then tell us about gender equality. Yeah, you bet. You know, I, I am celebrating uh, our resilience. We, we truly are resilient human beings, all of us are, but especially this month of recognizing women, um, it, it's something to the, to my foundational core. I have overcome a lot in my life. I have earned every single one of these silver uh, lining hairs <laughs> that I have. Uh, I experienced a stroke at 15 when I was a world-class athlete and had everything planned out ahead of me to be on the pro tennis circuit. Um, and then later on in life, the lessons that I learned through that I uh, had to use again when my husband came home from a deployment and took his own life. My oldest son has been missing for over six years as a result of that suicide. Uh, and my younger son attempted suicide. So uh, I was a, a shell of myself and I could not overcome by myself. And it took very 
strong, amazing women in my life to help me uh, see what I couldn't see in myself. I had been a stay-at-home mom. I had a degree, but hadn't used it. And I got a job as a receptionist. And they took me out to dinner. And the bet that was going on was how long it would take for me to become, go from a front desk receptionist to a CEO. And I laughed it off. But it was an aha moment for me because I thought I had to be with someone who um, who had a sphere of influence. And they were the ones to help me figure out that I already had a sphere of influence. I didn't have to be with a C-level person. I could be the C-level person. And it, it really opened up the aperture for me to... Um, to really be a, a better servant leader. And so from that point forward, I will say it took nine years and 11 months before I became CEO of my own company uh, with the help of those women in my community. But um, it, it's been an amazing journey to finding the gaps and standing in those gaps. So we have a 10 digit suicide hotline in the US for, uh, you know, it's staffed 24 7, uh, 365. And 10 digits is a lot for someone to remember when they're in crisis or a loved one who has someone in crisis. And so in 2017, I started uh, the initiative for a three digit suicide prevention hotline number. So I am happy to say in July of this year, July 16th of 2022, it will um, come to fruition. 988 will be the new National Suicide Prevention Hotline, uh, which for veterans and for those in the military will still be the suicide hotline number for them. And they just dial one to reach someone who, um, who has that understanding of that culture. But it's it's finding those places to stand in the gap. And then um, I created National Resilience Day, which was last Friday, March 4th. Uh, we march forth and conquer our insecurities and our disappointments and our adversities. And we do it together, even if it's a baby step. And we just keep conquering. We, we just keep moving forward uh, and, and overcoming. It's so important, but it's to get outside that comfort zone and overcoming those fears as well. Angelica, you are on mute. Yeah. Sorry, I put the trigger. Sorry. I started muting everything because there's a little noise and I was trying to remove it. But, uh, and then I forgot that I was in mute, but we just honor you for the work that you're doing. Ragna, do you have any questions for her? I mean, she's been doing amazing work. Now you are on mute, Ragna. <laughs> well, it is what it is. So, um, let's see. Well, we, <laughs> we, but we, we see each other's faults or blind spots and uh, we jumped in, right? Yeah. So that's 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 the true thing and that that's the um, that's the true empowerment and how it should be um, conducted on a daily basis but um Kristen I want to I want to really uh, uh appreciate you because uh telling your very personal story going through all of that and and yet uh the strength in yourself uh, not to be defined by those circumstances uh finding the way out, finding the way forward. And, and uh, not only that, becoming the, the sort of the, the um, someone to go to through your own experience. This is, this is truly uh, inspirational. And I'm very proud of you that uh, you have taken this road and this path because uh, we also need to recognize that every time we tell the story, it, it's sort of, uh, deep inside still touches you even though if, if we are being able to release it and and uh, and sort of have peace with it but still it every time it touches very very deeply our core and um 
and I just love the way that you're able to to find the strength in you and see that I know I, I went through it, but I survived and today I can help us. I truly appreciate you for sharing your story. Thank you so much. And there's healing in telling our story. Um, for those who are worried about being vulnerable, um, it took me 10 years before I could talk about my husband's suicide and, and the guilt and the shame that I had as a failure as a spouse and then a failure as a mother um, that I was so afraid to, to kind of splay open my chest and my heart to people that they would throw salt in the wound. And I will say I had one person who threw salt in the wound and that person is no longer a part of my life <laughs> and I don't miss them whatsoever. Uh, but there, there's healing every chance I, I have a chance to, to tell our story and talk about the aftermath, but the hope that we have as a community um, especially now a, a community of women to lift each other up but uh, I talk about hope at having two meanings, hold on pain eases, and then help one person every day. And sometimes when you have pain that needs to ease, when you can get outside of yourself and help someone else, um, it helps your own pain ease. But then I also wanna encourage people that the one person you need to help sometimes is yourself. And it's self-care and it's not selfish whatsoever. We give of our overflow, not of our overwhelm. Beautiful. Well said. Where can people connect with you? And do you have anything that you would like to offer? Yeah, I, I would love to uh, connect with people. I think that's, I'm an uber extrovert. I will tell you that. Um, my website is www.kristenchristiellc.com. Now, I love to put the exclamation points as the eyes, but unfortunately, URLs won't allow me to do that. Uh, the exclamation point just stands for I live my life. That's what I want on my tombstone, my birth date, my death date with an exclamation point in between. But uh, kristenchristiellc.com. There aren't very many Kristen Christie's in the U.S., so if you just Google my name, uh, pretty much that will come up. And I have a car magnet for anyone who's interested. Uh, they can just shoot me an email, connect with me. But it says, and I don't have one with me right now, I, I apologize. But it says, I am resilient. And every time you read that, your brain tells you you are resilient. And you are, whether you know it or not at the time. Um, but would love to connect that way. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for saying yes and showing up last minute, you know, but that's what we do when you are a phenomenal person. Like you just do things and you make it happen. So we want to um, present to you a certificate of being phenomenal woman because we feel that, you know, with deep appreciation, you have guided people through your vision and exemplary leadership skills. So thank you, thank you for all the work that you do. And thank you. I appreciate you both and hope is not canceled. <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you and um, we'll connect very soon. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. So, wow, Regne, like, this is it. I mean, most of the time we go over time, but I'm proud to say <laughs> that we ended a little earlier, but we did have some women that could not attend because they were sick. And I do want to just show their certificate. And one of them um, was uh, Dr. Sarifa Alon Alonto Yunes who has been doing phenomenal work around the world in education. So Sarif, I know you couldn't, Dr. Sarif, I know you couldn't attend today, but we honor you uh, with the certificate and we'll send it to you very soon. The other person, um, let me pull it up. Give me a second. It is also, um, it's Dr. Tanya Simmons. 
that I want to present this certificate to her. And uh, I know you couldn't be here because you are attending to your daughter. So we recognize you, Dr. Tanya Simmons, for being a phenomenal woman and doing amazing work around the world. Uh, we are truly appreciate your visionary guidance and exemplary leadership. So thank you, thank you so much. And I know you can attend, but that doesn't stop us from recognizing you. And um, Regne, you have been doing an amazing job too. So I am going to show yours. <laughs> oh, uh, and now, and now, I, I receive with much love and and uh, a group which uh, for the World Women Conference and the world, so all the global leaders. Uh, it's it has been such a amazing journey, and uh, I feel I feel that the. the the friendship where we started has grown really a, 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 a to a point that I feel feel all of you as as extended uh, family and uh, they think um, when women are recognized uh, we sometimes feel that do we truly deserve it or we, we start to sometimes question ourselves and um, and just a few days ago I was reminded that uh, you know what um, it is okay. It is okay to feel recognized. Is it? It's okay to to feel the honor and to really truly enjoy it, because we we go into this uh, trying to be every time, and uh, the self care might might really get affected by that. And today I wanna really really raise awareness on that that in order for us and i i'm pretty sure someone mentioned it before in order for us to serve and serve the best our community our own cups needs to be filled and um, as they say in the airplane first put the mask on yourself so you can help others and this is what i want to celebrate celebrate yourself today give yourself a big hug uh, go uh, do something that you love to do and you have been postponing. So let's celebrate ourselves today. And everything starts from there. So if we are happy, every single person around us will be happy. If we feel them empowered, we will empower every single person who surrounds us. If we uplift ourselves, have the confidence, we believe in ourselves, every single person will do the same but everything starts within and this is my invitation and this is my celebration today i celebrate self you who you're watching and every single person who has come across my path thank you very much thank you Ragne. you know i at one point i don't think i would have been here if it weren't because of my chaotic life you know but that chaos that was in my life is what shaped me and what really pushed me to where I am today. A lot of people might see us and they're like, oh, they're successful. We can't get there. And I just want to remind people, no, like we are constantly evolving. We are constantly becoming someone new and, and stepping into our greatness constantly. It's not like we're great every day. It's like, we're just reminded that we want to be great so that we can empower other women and we can inspire other people to move into their greatness. And we could not do that if we did not, uh, if we were not in the situation of chaos, you know, but ca the chaos theory is really about evolving and becoming someone new. And that's exactly who we are. We're, we're new creatures, new beings, and we're celebrating all these women. And I want to celebrate me too, Regna, because I feel that it took a long, it took courage. And so many times, like, I wanted to give up and, and, and there was like, I can't do this, right? But I kept failing forward. Even if I fell on my face, I would get up, dust myself off, and, and I kept moving. And I think what empowers me, Regne, 
is the connection, like being around you and Gigi and Amelia and all these women that showed up here. I think that like gives me the juice that I need to keep going. Because when I hear their stories, I'm reminded of like, okay, you need to keep going. You're not the only one that's struggling. And, and it gives me the hope to keep moving forward no matter what. And that's exactly why we're here today to remind women and tell, we want to remind you that you are special, you are loved, and you have to connect with these women that showed up here today and many others that will give you that juice, that vibe, that energy to keep going, to keep plugging in. And where you have to plug in is here with us because we know what it feels to struggle. We know how it feels to get where we are and to keep moving forward no matter what. So yes, those those tower moments in, in our lives are truly blessings in disguise. And once we are able to shift our our mindset from uh, from becoming the the victims of our circumstances or uh, so when we shift that life is not happening to us but for us, even if it gets the worst, if, if even if we are down on the floor and we are asking or we want to ask again why it is happening to me. No, it is happening to for you because the universe is really new what is better and best for you. So, um, but again, as Angelica just said, you need to have the environment that really is there for you when you most need it. If you don't have that, then we all know what happens. Depression is frustration, anxiety, suicides. It's real and it's happening every day and very close to us. So we need to really uh, also pay attention to our surroundings if someone is needing that help. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And what I'm going to encourage you to do is like, uh, I have my publishing company and I really want all of you that are in that situation where you feel you struggled, write a book, you know, and if you don't know how to get started, I'm going to give you an online four video free training so that you can learn how to begin to write your book and get it published. You can either find a publisher, or you can get it published on your own. And I teach you how to publish it on your own through this video. So take advantage and write your story because it's very healing, very soothing. And not until I started telling and talking about my story, did I start to begin to heal. Um, and again, plug in and connect with Ragne. She has a very powerful um, um, platform of women. And in fact, that's how I connected with many of them. And uh, thank you, Regna, for showing up in my life and showing up here today. And I'm going to bring the rest of the ladies that are in the backstage just so that together we can say goodbye. Meredith and Amelia, if you're there, come join us and let's say goodbye to our, our, our people out there. So <laughs> thank you, everybody. Kisses to all of you. And thank you, thank you for showing up and continue to be great and fabulous. Be a phenomenal woman. Thank you, ladies. And thank you. Bye bye. See bye. You. Thank you so much. God bless. God bless. Bye bye.